What's going on, guys? What? Welcome to the... Welcome. Uh, take the lead, my friend. Yeah, go for it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Everyone who is here in the building, my name is Walker Fam, I'm here. Once again with Sin. Sin, it's always good to be alongside you on the cons, my man. We're back one more time. Yeah, we're back once again. And this time we have made it all the way to the top 20. Oh, right? uh, we're, uh, we're nearly at the end of this. This has been a very... very... Yeah, it's been crazy. Wait, Sin, you're muted. I think you're muted, Sin. I hate technology. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think yeah, I'm you were saying. Was... Right, we've, we've, seen, we've, seen, we've seen everything. We've seen the absolute pride of the UK. The pride of the last chance qualifier, second last chance qualifier. Four absolutely mad pools, and now we're here. Now we're here. Four more pools to get through to the promised land, the top eight of lockdown league. Yeah, absolutely. You couldn't have said it any better. And uh, like you said, it's been crazy, man. That The play has been godlike over the weeks. Every weekend, we've had some good, good, excellent Tekken. Yeah, and uh, it's just another weekend, really. It's just gonna, it's going to be a mad one. The, the, <laughs> the pool, each pool, I was going to say, each pool is looking terrifying. At first, I was thinking uh, pool C is looking hefty. But really, if you look across the board, it is just scary stuff. I mean, let's be real. What pool do you want to go in there? <laughs> I just want to be. I just want to be where I am right now, which is behind the commentary desk. I don't want to go in any pool. I, I'm comfortable where I am. Yeah, yeah. Funnily, funnily enough, I agree. <laughs> Although I'll be, yeah. I'll be honest, I'll be honest. If I was, if I was in, I would want. I would want to have a go at pool B. Just because, okay. just because, I, just because I just want to like ruin Sherdell's day. <laughs> You know what I mean? I know you're normally, yeah. Whenever you're in tournament, you're just, you're normally just after one dude, man. You're always after one dude ruin their day. That's that's mission complete. That's that's meet how I thrive. I live on salty tears. Yeah, literally. And um, me me personally, I honestly, I will probably just go with Paul C. Paul C just looks like absolute hell. But oh, the, the caliber, of, yeah, the caliber of play in that pool, you don't you don't really get that often yeah. like such a high caliber and such a in such a small pool so i would happily yeah. get absolutely bodied just to get that just to get that xp man because that pool is that pool is crazy you know what's scary about paul c i'll tell you what's scary about paul c every single player in there is sick but every single player who is in there could feasibly lose to every other player zero two and it wouldn't surprise you yeah <laughs> yeah absolutely I, I mean i suppose i suppose and uh and please everyone in the chat please please give your uh, your opinion on who's going to make out of these pools but it could be anyone man There's, i'm sure there, there are some expected names that are, that are to do um to do real good but uh, everyone's within their right to take to take the top two spots honestly for, for me i think uh paul a and paul c are definitely going to be the least predictable because obviously paul a you've got pretty much every robbery character in this tournament has gone into paul a but you know paul c i mean everybody was hailing chicken morrow as um as the one to get throughout this series Paul C, my, Paul C, my man's looking mortal, you know? Yeah. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's uh, it's going to be a scary one, man. Like, like I said, Group A, like the, the characters, you got the you got Ling, you got Paul, you got Morling, you got Leroy, you got <laughs> Nina, like... Who, who's the most I mean, honest character in that pool? <laughs> do, you know, do you know what? I never thought I'd say this, but the most honest character in that pool is Bonus Chins Nina. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> and that's isn't, and isn't that crazy? That, that's such a crazy thing to say, but that just goes to uh, that's goes to show. I mean, I mean, what, how how are you even going to call the pool of games, man? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll do our best, you know, but we'll do our absolute yeah. best. Uh, guys, we're we're aware of the, if there is audio issues, we're we're aware of it. We'll do um the best we can. Uh, I'm sure the guys in the background are doing uh doing.
All right, everyone, I think we'll do a, I think this is a bit of a run back, but we're going to go for it anyway. Hopefully you can hear the sounds of our voices this time. Back one more time. Sounds, uh, well, I can hear you, Shaq. Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I hope the stream Beautiful. can hear us. Let's know in the, yeah, let us know in the chat if everything's all good. I guess we'll run the thing back. So welcome once again. This is Lockdown League number two. This is the top 20. This is the top 20 situation. It's been week after week of some good ass Tekken. And it's just another weekend of that. I'm here with Sin, of course. Sin, I hope you're well. I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. Excellent. It's been uh, it's been a crazy, crazy lockdown week so far. We've had we've gone through four weeks of pause. We've gone through a last chance qualifier, a second last chance qualifier. Twenty man, twenty man have made it through to this tournament, and we're still not done. They've got to get through one more tournament for that privilege of getting into the lockdown league finals, into that top eight. And on the top, on top of that top eight. Let's, um, we've still got some stretch goals going, I believe, have we not walked them? We cleared the 500 dollar mark uh, during the LCQ. If we can get to 750, those finals, every single match will be first to three. Yeah, absolutely. So all we can do is just try our hardest to boost up that match, Reno, get on those quests. Who, who, doesn't, who doesn't want to see a first to three situation? Because that, real, that, that just opens that opens it up. You know, you got more time to adjust, more character changes, perhaps. Um, yeah, all around just more uh, more hype, more excitement. So mm. please, if you guys are in a position to do so, and you definitely are, help us out with that match, Reno, and you'll you'll get your you'll get it back in uh, in sheer entertainment. Mm. Definitely. Right, so, uh, so I think we're just waiting to begin the first game of Cool A now. I'll be honest. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we're hopefully going to kick things, uh, get things underway very, very soon. Beautiful. Um, with the first game looking like a... Was it, was it uh, not Loki? Not Loki versus Kerberry will be the first game on the stream. Oh, it's six, so shall you versus Paul? Yeah, that's All right. right. Okay, okay. Well, <clears throat> certainly going to be an exciting match. Both, uh, both very explosive characters. Shall you's going to be going for all the tricky stuff, whereas Paul... Kind of just wants to kill you. Uh, so, uh, so 
We'll see if uh, Naluki's able to dance around those death fists, take the dub, or if uh, Kirby's just going to break that wall and take his first match 1 0. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. But I gotta say, uh, dancing around those uh, death fists is a uh, it's a very scary dance. It is <laughs> not. An, it is. It's not an easy task at all. Yeah, very very scary. And um and we'll see, we'll see if uh, Kirby's got that um that Ling experience. Uh, I'm seeing Bolt Bolt Rack in the champs mentioning well, that Kirby would... knows a decent amount about the character. Well, I would imagine that Kirby's going to know Shao Yu very well because I mean, obviously being a Scottish player, he's got divine tricks to practice against. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And that's uh, and divine tricks. Uh, we will hope to see divine tricks in the what pool? In pool B, yeah, the pool straight after this. Pool B, I believe. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty much everyone that Sherdell didn't want to fight decided to pull up against. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm. Lo I was loving the. Uh, I, I I got so I was loving the uh, the the meta picks uh, going on in the. Do you know what I rate the drafting? The drafting there. I mean, it, obviously there was a little bit of risk because like the players themselves. You know, you never know what they're going to say on the day. But I think it went really well. That was fun. Yeah, it was it was a good fun. I, I was there. I was there right at the start, um, <laughs> straight to the end, and uh, yeah, it, it was a good laugh. I so and I, I, I was loving the I was loving the different reasons for everyone's picks. Um, yeah, yeah. I yeah, think yeah. it was crazy when um when everyone just started diving into pool uh pool C. I was like, guys, are you are you sure? Like, are you, are you? So when like, so first off, of course, Chikamaru uh, went first, uh, Pixie, yeah. and then everyone just following like the Phantom follows, yeah, and then uh, yeah, just everyone just kept on chucking, going into uh, into C, Risky Lug, Ru Kang, the Immortal Soul. They just wanted, they just want that smoke. Uh, do, you, do you know what? Everyone just lined up and they were and they were just like, no, 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 I'm gonna be the guy. <laughs> like now, everyone's just arguing over it. Exactly. Um, so, uh, hey, I respect it though. I I respect the uh, the choice of uh, going for uh, not the easy way, not the tactical way, but just they just want like they just want the the hardest games. Yeah. And uh, why not? You know, why? Yeah, definitely. But yeah, as as I mentioned before as well, um, we're get we're mentioning a lot about about Group C, but again, each each one of these pools is uh is dangerous. I mean, you know, Group D, you got. Azim, Kwiz, Ducky, who was doing abs doing absolute work uh, in the Open LCQ two. E minor with the Eliza. It's all it's all scary. It's all scary stuff. Every man. every yeah. single pool you've got here, at least half of each pool could very very easily, and in most cases have top eight European majors. That's that's the level we're working at. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's that's what we're working with right now, and yeah. that's why these yeah. games are. Uh, that's why these games are so damn good, and to make those into a first to three situation would be mm. tasty, very, very Definitely. tasty. So I think the target for us, uh, for the guys at, um, at ELF, uh, we would love to, we would love to break our record from the previous lockdown league in terms of the uh, the Matcherino funds. Now I do mm. believe the Matcherino got up to around by the end of it, around eight eight hundred, eight hundred mm. and something pounds, which is pretty hefty and. We're making our way there, so so guys, again, you know those those uh, well, those quests. Mark, quests. So. Yeah, exactly. We're we're on our way there, and we would love we would love to be able to uh, to break our personal best with that. Um, yeah, the, the sponsor quests are there to be done, guys. Please, throughout the tournament, please do get the sponsor quests done. It'd be hugely hugely appreciated. So it looks like we're gonna get these games gonna get these games in relatively soon guys we appreciate the patience just gonna iron out the kinks and stuff let us know how it's sound in uh in the chat as well some feedback would be great we understand that there might be a few uh a few technical difficulties but the guys behind the scenes will get that sorted asap for you guys I mean, so so I guess one one good question we can ask now, I suppose, for everyone in the stream and to Sin and you especially, I wanna I wanna ask this to you. Uh, who who are you who are you expecting to be victorious in this group? We'll start off with Group A, of course. Group A, uh, Group A, I it's difficult to call him. So, okay, I'm going to be I'm going to be ultra conservative on uh, on who I on who I bank on. I think in winner's side, it's going to be King J. And I think in loser side, it's going to be bonus gen. Just because they've just, every tournament they enter, they just do so consistently well. I mean, it's, I mean, for me, it's it, for me first place in the group is a shootout between those two. I could be wrong, you know. The level we got in these pools, they could they could equally you know lose every game. So. Yeah, exactly. That's why um that's why a like calling a top two is just so like 
yeah. it doesn't really it's it, it's not a, it's it's not a test it's a testament to how heavy that these groups are you know and yeah, yeah for real for real. i mean i mean and you're asking me to pick two out of five players and i still can't do it <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly that's exactly what yeah for sure for sure yeah. and uh and again it's just the character picks too you got like you got plenty of ling Leroy too, Nina being arguably the most honest in there. Like it's uh it's it's a bit of a dice roll, honestly. It's just it's just down to uh it's just a matchup experience of the guys and hmm. and hopefully that like, can get him get him in the top two finish. But yeah, so so that's group A predictions. Um and and for anyone that's wondering, I'm I'm probably gonna mirror what Sin saying regarding the uh regarding the top two. King J and Bonus Jin are probably my pick as well. But again, any anything anything can happen. Uh, so group B, how are we? I'll, I'll, I'll give you. I'll start with my two. Uh, for group B. Okay. Um. I I've got a. Let's see. There's 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 a few picks that I want to say, and there's a few picks that are like surely they're gonna they're gonna do uh they're gonna do bits. So. Okay. Eddie, Eddie's got yep. uh, Eddie for me is gonna be number one. The Fakum Ram is ridiculous. It I is. must say, at times untouchable. Um. <laughs> And second, second, I think seconds, it, there's, everyone else is probably evenly uh, capable of getting second, you know, with Sheridal, Dawn, Divine Tricks, hmm. and Bolt. I, I might have to give it to Bolt, should I, should I, uh, should I have to choose one? I think Bolt might be the pick for me. Okay, so, so for me, uh, being based in Birmingham, uh, I've got to go for Eddie every single time, totally unbiased. It's got nothing to do with the fact that nobody's been able to lay a glove on him all league. <laughs> But, uh, uh, yeah, I think Eddie gets through this pool in winner's side and then loser's side. It's a difficult one to call just because, obviously, Dawn Yeager, we can't sleep on Dawn. He beats Acid in this pool. Uh, people, uh, I think people have a tendency to not rate him because they don't see him so highly in tournaments, but the guy is legitimately dangerous. Um, and then, obviously, you've got Sherdell and Bolt who have been doing all these long sets together. I mean, that could go either way. Um, but I think... I think I'm going to have to give it to Bolt Rocker. I think Scotland goes through and loses the side this time. Yeah, that's what I think. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do want to say I. I would love. I want. I'm. I'm one Dawn to do absolute work, and he has been doing to get to, to get to this point. He's been doing some serious, serious damage. I did call it. I'm not going to lie. When it came to his wave, I did say in uh, in Discord, in the SMBF Discord, that Dawn is going to do some damage, and damage is exactly what he did. So, you know, the, thing with, the thing with Dawn is he has good days and he has bad days, but on his good days he can't touch the guy. So. Yeah, yeah, facts, facts. There's a there's a little uh, there's a little meme, a bit a bit of a meme in the SNBF Discord. So if he's playing, if he's not playing too well, he's just Dawn Jaeger. But when he's John, that's what oh, that's yeah. when he's when he's no, untouchable. No. He is John. Is he? No, you no, Hopefully no, we then, see John. And then he, and then you see some Ultra Instinct and you see Young John. That's, that's yeah, when Young you Young real. John. Then there's <laughs> Young John and the man man win the man can win either. For yeah, real, for real. yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we'll see which uh, we'll see who we're gonna see today uh, from him. But best of luck to him. You know, I wish him, I wish him all the best. He's done godlike yeah, to get this far. So. so I guess so. So the match is uh, the match is sinking in. So we're soon to be underway. I guess really quickly we'll just go run for Group C predictions. Uh, Chikamaru, the winner of the first lockdown league, is for okay. me probably the take to take the top spot. Uh, just, what about you? Oh, or, F, or? come there. Oh, that's no worries. Uh, we'll get uh, we'll get that we'll get that underway real quick. Okay, cool. Okay, so uh, Paul C, who have we got in Paul C? We've got Chicken Maru, the Phantom. We've got Immortal Soul, I think. Yeah, Immortal Soul, Ru Kang, and Risky Luck. Ruk oh Jesus Christ! Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna say I, okay. I'm gonna go for an unorthodox pick here. Immortal Soul will go through winner's side first in this bracket. Chicken Maru will not win this bracket. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna put my cards uh... on the table. That's that's my big pick for this tournament. I, I rate I rate Immortal Soul to, to win this group. So second second really... place second place Chicken Mario I think. Okay. And I will tell you why I think I I think if you look at the way that Immortal Soul plays, Immortal Soul is basically like like he's almost Birmingham's Wu Kang. Like he's he's pure hard reads and he's all about and he's all about the schmicks. Now I'm being a little bit biased here, but. I just fancy him to edge it over Rukeng on the day. That, that's all it comes down to. And then, the, and then the Ra and then of course the Raven Mirror. I don't think I've ever seen him lose a Raven Mirror. So I mean that puts him in good stead to to you know come out in the top two spots. And I I don't know. I can just see I can just see some sort of ridiculous blow up happening. Oh, in that group, uh, because the group is so it's such a hench group. 
I mean, would you even call it an upset? Like the the caliber is so high. Like I guess with I guess the only and, upset. And, well, yeah, and, that, and then and then so never mind everyone else. And then you've got risky look. I mean, risky look could just body everyone. <laughs> yeah, that, that Claudio is that Claudio is hella nice. That Claudio is super yeah. super nice. I can just blow up I, anyone on the on the right day. Correct, I guess correct. the main I guess the main upset that could occur in that group would probably be if Chikamaru, who did win this uh, the last yeah. lockdown league, if he doesn't if he doesn't get out. Yeah. I mean, that would be the main, that would be I would I would say he's definitely been given a challenge to get out, probably more so than the other groups. But at the, at the same time, I mean, any one of those groups is, you know. Yeah, uh... yeah, yeah. And I'm sure uh, I'm sure he I'm sure he welcomes. I reckon he he probably welcomes all the challenges that have come. Um, <laughs> after, be after he uh, after he made that uh, decision to go in Group C and just saw everyone follow, I'm sure he's opening the challenge with open arms. I'm sure. Well, I'm, I'm hoping after he's had his time to uh, had time to uh, digest his food, uh, he'll uh, he'll be in a pretty good state going in. Yep. Remind me when Chikimaru retired again. I feel like he's been retired since like ever. Listen, right? I I gotta say it goes without saying at this point, but there is no such thing as retiring from the FGC. That doesn't exist. That doesn't matter. You're Everyone right. who right. said that, you'll see him you'll see him in the next major. You're gonna see him in the next major, no question. <laughs> like is that's no one no one I'm pretty sure Alex Valle back in the day said he was retired and my man still plays. I'm pretty sure Speed Kick said he retired and any and he and he's entering tournaments online. Yeah, that's and you're probably gonna see him and when Corona's over you're probably gonna see him like at a major. Uh, well, then, no well, then, do, you re- do you remember that uh, other <laughs> Uh, on about Alex Fire retiring, remember about three or four years ago, there was streaming Wednesday Night Fights. Obviously, Alex Fire runs that. Some Smash uh, some smash player came onto the stream for Dirt Strike, had no idea about the game. Alex Fire comes on to help him out and he goes, Hello, who are you? To Alex Fire. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I was like, man. <laughs> and just like, just like that, he's out of retirement. <laughs> yeah, he's out. <laughs> yeah, people forgot. Yeah, I'd have to get back in there. <laughs> But yeah, no. Nah, honestly, I don't think once, once you're once you're amongst the FGC, you're in you're in for life. Yeah, you're for real, for real. It's uh, it's right. pretty it's pretty it's pretty adhesive. Yeah, definitely. So that leaves uh, I guess that leaves us with the final group predictions for the final group, Group D. So amongst the group, just to remind everyone, we have Asim, K Wiz, J Web, E Minor, and Internet's very own Ducky. <laughs> Oh, Half this group, yeah, in fact, yeah, yeah, three, three of the five players in this group actually beat me through lockdown league as well. Mm, now that right. I think about it, um, oh, I don't know which way I want to call it. Um, I think I think K West definitely gets through. K West definitely gets through. And who were the other four? You've got Asim, Ducky, J Web, and J Web, and E Minor. I fancy E Minor uh, today, actually. I think I think really? I, yeah I think I think K was some Imana take this. Right. Mm. Okay. I like it. I like it. I mean, that's Eli- what I'm I mean, going. I mean, Eliza's spooky, man. Eliza's definitely able to do some damage. I mean, mm. the character's mad good with that meter. It's super scary. Don't rock wrong or you're going to lose hella life. So, yeah, I mean, again, definitely. that's not even I mean, for me personally, I think K Wiz is certainly favorite to to leave, uh, to leave the group in winner's side, um, okay. you know the guy. The, it, it goes without saying the guy's godlike. The guy put in, puts in work wherever he's playing, or even uh, even on the mic. You know he's blessing the microphone to a high level too. So the guy, the guy's got that tech and knowledge for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's gonna be K West, and it's gonna be it's gonna be Asim for me. Asim is okay. I think Asim is OD. I think he's mad good. Um, is he? Uh, is do you know if he is he amongst online tournaments that often? Do you know? No, not really. Asim, uh, it's, uh, it's, Asim doesn't really play much online at all. In fact, he, it's only recently that I've seen him online, period. To be fair. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, consistent top eight in everything he enters offline. When he first came to the UK back in the second six days, I mean, the guy was consistently, like, the best UK player for so long. And, yeah. you know, and then London started to catch up, and then he had the rise of players like Real Menace and uh, going on today. And Asim's still in that top, top echelon. I mean, you can't sleep on the guy. You really can't. I just, I don't know. I, th- I think maybe the online environment kind of hurts how he plays because Asim's reactions are ridiculous. Um, so I think, so I think this sort of um, this sort of environment is kind of a direct nerf to how he likes to play this game. So, 
So I don't even want to say that I'm sleeping on him by saying he won't get through. I, ju I just feel like it's... I feel like this just nerfs him harder as a player than anyone else, that's all. Yeah, I, I to yeah, I totally get what you're saying. I, I agree for sure. I, I'm, yeah, I asked the question if, if I've, if I've seen him, whether you've seen him in, in some online tournaments. Well, I haven't seen much of him, but yeah, no. I, I'm sure, I'm sure he'll do it regardless. <laughs> but uh, for now, I, it... I was surprised when I saw him in the pools at all. To be fair, I've seen him in so many tournaments offline, but never once have I seen him enter an online tournament. Anyway, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, just like that, we are um, we're underway, and we're gonna have a change of uh, we're gonna have a change of game first. So we're actually gonna have King J versus Ru Kang to start off uh, today. No, this isn't Ru Kang. This is bonus gin. This is uh, that bonus gin. This is this is no. funny actually. These are my two picks to win this pool. So uh, so we're going straight in with the heavy hitters. <laughs> oh yeah, so yeah, we're gonna have a change, but hey, it's a, it's a change that I welcome. We got yeah, rocking King J, rocking that so boy as we need expect. So bonus gin and Nina main, but uh, secondary is Zafina and a very, very strong Zafina at that. So uh, let's see what he can do. Now bonus gin is a very aggressive player, but Leroy is, he's got so many reversal options uh, with his parries, with his sabakis, with his evasion. It's very, very hard to pin Leroy down and keep mixing him up. So that'll be a challenge for bonus gin. Yeah. See if he can work on it. But, oh, King J just run the train so far. Good block on the health speed, but no punish. Yeah, sizable life lead though, so we're sitting, taking yeah, his son to delay his get up, good oh, choice, and yeah, he smart he's done. With that rising move. Yeah. I gotta say, regarding, regarding a King, King J's Leroy, I would argue that his utilization of the Hermit Stance is so scary. There's something about yeah. his Hermit Stance mix-up which is just almost unbearable to deal with, and I'm expecting to see that in this game too. Uh, do you know the thing? You know the thing with Leroy's hermit stance is that you can you can go into practice mode and you can and you can learn like all the optimal decisions. The issue with King J's uh, Leroy and hermit stance is, regardless of what decision you take based on the risk reward, I guarantee you it's the wrong choice that you've made. Like you've already, <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee it every damn time. Oh, good duck on the down three two though, but he gets parried for his triples. This is the issue that bonus gym's gonna have all the way through this. But uh -huh, uh, despite a good the issues, he's done well to take the round. Yeah, he's done well to take the round. One to one. Nice. But yeah, that, Ooh, every time I see King, there is the orbital. I was just about to say, King J, his uh, his accuracy with that uh, the orbital is normally pretty damn high. I've heard the orbital is a pretty decent move, you know. Yeah, it's uh, but... yeah, it's pretty nice. It's amongst the best in the game, I heard. Amongst the best. Mm -hmm. yeah, definitely great hitbox on it. It might it might well shut down a good chunk of Sabina's uh, mix-up as well in the Mantis sense in um, in Tarantula as well. I would I would imagine. Mm. Oh, going in with that race drive though. Race drive is blocked. What's the mix? Mm, oh. Good. Excellent oh, wow, picks up. Are you serious? Yo, wow. that's, that's some discord there. That's some discord there. Yeah. But what, yeah, what defense though? A lot of these like uh, mid-low uh, mix-ups, King J is just guessing right every single time. So he's doing a really good job defensively. That's yeah, perfect read. Oh, nice. Waiting for the orbital now. I'm trying to bait it out, but no punish on it, unfortunately, from bonus gen. This, this is this is a challenge. Mm -hmm. Like, Jay's taken everything that makes bonus gen such a strong player, and he's turned it on his head. He's turned it against him, and now he's looking to close it out. And a dominant 3-1. Very, very Jay convenient. Jay takes the first yeah. game. Yeah, first game of the uh, first game of the tournament, going to King Jay. Yeah. The poster Perfect. boy. <laughs> yeah, the poster boy. You know he's got. You know, you know, there's a billboard up in Birmingham now as well. Yeah, everywhere, man. The man, the man's, uh, the man's got his face all over the, the place. Man, good stuff the, man's to him. Going, the man's gone national. Yeah, literally, literally. But no, good stuff to him. He's, uh, he's doing bits, <laughs> doing bits for Twitch. Love to see it. Love to see it. Uh, I'm curious about. Um, so we were fully expecting a Nina, but we got a Safina. I, I wonder why, and I wonder if he's gonna. Maybe switch back to the Nina that we were expecting originally. Mm. It's tricky because Nina's all about. Uh, so Nina's entire game plan is that, well, everything is a counter hit launcher basically. So Nina's looking to put you in frame traps, get you with strings, cancels, mix ups. Leroy's parry to a large extent negates that. That's that's the issue that he's got with Nina, and maybe that's why he felt less confident. Um, so I do respect the Zafina pick. Obviously, Zafina being more about singular pokes is going to perform yeah. better against Leroy, but. I don't know. What do you do though against against Leroy? What do you do? Yeah, and King yeah, King gives Leroy no less, which is a pretty yeah, damn exactly, good Leroy. I mean... So, with that, yeah, with that being said, I, I can appreciate the character switch. Um, it's definitely going to be an educated, uh, educated decision, but it's not one that worked out. So, I you can only expect the Nina to return now. Whoa! Might be having some connection issues with the players, possibly. Uh, yeah, we're just going to reinvite the guys. Uh, make right, sure cool. we got that uh, got that stable connection. So it shouldn't be too uh, shouldn't Sorry. take too long, guys. We'll get the uh, we'll get the second game underway very very soon.
So I wonder if that means we might be getting... Because this wasn't originally going to be the first game, so maybe the... Um, yeah, it was going to be uh, Naloki and Kerberry, wasn't it, originally? But uh, no, it looks, yeah, like we're, right. uh, looks like we're carrying on there with the bonus Jin King J uh, belt. Yeah, yes. Hmm. I don't know, I mean, bonus the... Jin's kind of... He's got a mountain to climb now, but I just... I'm, you know me, I'm a character specialist. I'm a big believer in uh, sort of falling on your own sword. Where, uh, so uh, I, I would go for Nina and just see what happens at this point. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely don't want to go for a set. Um, a, very, a very important set, you know, this is your first set. You definitely don't want to start off with an own one. Um, so you would have thought you'd have to go with your main stuff at some point. Hmm. Yeah, definitely. But it's, 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 it's to his discretion. You know, he's, he's, got, her, he's got her this far. Um... I trust his decision making, and you know I absolutely understand why he's gone for Zafina. But after after Jay's just shut down uh, Zafina so 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 quickly, there. I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah. Bonus Jin got around, but when it came to the pressure, I mean, he didn't lay a glove on the guy. Everything he did, Jay just reversed just reversed his offense. You know, perfect Wing Chun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> the man's been watching and studying the movies. Right, so we've London's, got London's very own right. it, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> literally. Portessa, welcome, uh, welcome to the stream. Hope you're gonna stay a while and get involved with this juicy Tekken. We're gonna have uh, hours upon hours of this high octane stuff. So guys, please do stick with us throughout. It's gonna be real good. Um, I couldn't even tell you. We did do a little bit. We did do a few predictions early on, but honestly, they, they're probably gonna be wrong. They're probably gonna be a few upsets here and there. Gonna well, be they're definitely gonna be wrong. If, I, if I've got any of them right, I'll be surprised. Well, actually, so like, if I've got any of them right aside from Eddie getting through this group, then I'll be surprised. That's the only one. I, that's the only one I'm dead certain of. Yeah, yeah. There's gonna be a lot of eyes on Eddie. Eddie has been playing immaculately for real, uh, for real. since 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 the lockdown. He's been playing. Uh, he's looking very untouchable in a lot of tournaments. So I'm sure all eyes all eyes will be on him when he when he plays. But we're gonna get the Nina as expected. Okay, we're going into uh, Mishima Dojo. Um, to be fair, small stage. Both characters don't really mind this. They both have very, very strong wall carries, so it doesn't really matter. Although, if Bonus Jin's got his whole instant war rising one loops on deck, he'll be able to go coast to coast the long way on this stage. Yeah, yeah. We'll see if he's gonna get that opportunity. And Straight Bonus Jin doing exactly what Bonus Jin do, starting off very aggressively. Nice throw. What's your Oki? Nice. And look at this. Leroy with his back to the wall. Already two thirds of his health bar down. Bonus Jin's come out and yeah, get exactly. swinging. There's oh, he's an orbital though. for his troubles. Now, this is, the, uh, this is where the wall carry differential happens. Nina would have taken him to the wall there. That's just on that plane. Yeah. But... Munishin getting it. Oh, no! Is that a safe cancel? No, it isn't! Catches the swine! Ooh, no. that could... is, that, is that enough? Oh, he's dead. Oh, dead. That is D-E-D. Uh, big F. Big F. All that work by the yeah. as well. Yeah, super unfortunate for bonus gen. Oh, gets a poison. the poison breath, though. Very, I would say very much bonus Jin's signature move. No one uses poison mist like he does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, but he uses super super well. Yeah, exactly. It's, it, it, even when you know it's coming, you still get hit by it. And oh my god, bonus Jin was not happy with that last round. Yeah, he was upset. He was definitely feeling upset. Returns with the perfect. Let's go. That's one way to make a response. Nice. That's a done. very good way to make a response. And Jay seems to have slowed down slightly, and he catches his timing on that down three two. Perfect launch. And we're going to see the wall here. Oh, misses get... his wall combo though, that's unfortunate. And Jay springs yeah, his way man. out. Oh no, no that no, orbital! Man. Okay, not a big combo, but no real Loki either. But that down 3 2, man, just so much pressure. Good block on the orbital. Yeah. And Jay just chipping away. Last chance to live the bonus. Jin and DA takes it. Jay is now on set point. Yeah, set point. You see him chipping away at life just with his individual hits constantly throughout the round. Oh no, the yeah. one inch punch, I mean. Uh -huh. I've got a feel for bonus Jin here, but Jay's, Jay's played this absolutely perfectly. What is this Oki? Okay. Alright, that's cool. I've not seen that setup before. Ah, you see what Jay did? He tried to use like a manual uh, low parry from um, yeah, yeah. Uh, auto low parry from Hermit. Got blown up for the there's flex mix. right there. But, there's oh a mix out of God. Tell you, the Hermit mix is something fierce. Oh, wow, what a mix from bonus after the um, after the rage drive. Every single Nina, you always think the slides come in and bonus Jin knew, and he goes straight in with the power mid. Takes it out and he catches no. it with the poison. And there is a poison again. No oh, bonus gin. Only bonus gin, but he makes what it. Look so oh, and again. Yeah. What's the mix? What's the mix? He could be dead. Oh, but now Leroy with rage. This is scary. Oh, minus fourteen. Ah, with the throw. Next hit wins pretty much. 
Yeah, good at cap oh, Yeah, there's the orb again. Oh! I'm telling you. Oh, the rot. It feels bad for bonus here, man. It looked, it looked like his round. It looked like his game to tie it up, but he just... King Jing keeps it from him. Keeps it from him. With that rage damage, just every sing every individual hit was just looking just that little bit beefier with mm. the uh, bonus damage. And the orbital to finish it off too. Ugh. I mean super fortunate. Well, after that, welcome to Lockdown League, everyone. That was game one. <laughs> oh my days. Yes. Uh, I've got to feel I've got to feel for bonus gym there because you could you could see when he picked the Nina, especially after that first round. I mean he just found another gear and he just went hell for leather, he just went for it. And he was doing so many bits, but then Jay just found like the perfect spacing on those orbitals. All the back, uh, I mean, I think he only attempted one back one plus two, the one each punch all set. It counter hits. Jay was just on his A game there, and Bonus Jin falls to the wayside before him. Yeah, and it, it was looking, it was looking like Bonus Jin's round, um, especially like in the corner of the stage where it, it uh -huh. looked kind of game set and match, but just came you know, Jay when he, just when he, when he came to the wall and poison missed it again onto the wall. I thought he wrapped it up. I really did. I thought we, I thought yeah. that was tied up one to one, but. But King, yeah, King Jay just clutches it out. He just, um, I think it was all down to his his get up option in that corner. Just got himself out of a very, very, very just, sticky situation. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that iron will to not give up and just and, and just say no, 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 no. Your your bonus shit, bitch. I'm King Jay, and then just orbital it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. That orbital man. Uh, the orbital success rate. He started. He started off very, very high. Very, yeah. very high. So I'm sure we're going to see more uh, more of the orbitals from uh, from King Jay. Well, there is a, there is a slight possibility. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> right, so, so we'll see. Um, so we'll see what's in for, what, what we're in for next. It looks like it might be. Yeah, we're gonna go with King J versus Kirby next up. Uh, back up again. All right. So, uh, so this time Kirby representing our uh, our friends up north, the Scots, with uh, with. Well, I would hope to see his Paul. I've seen Kirby play so many characters online, but. I've got to think he's going to go for his ball here. Yes, yeah, I'm expecting the ball. I'm expecting um, what a character, by the way, Paul. Now, <laughs> yeah, definitely. Now, in the um, in the chat, and uh, not the chat, the draft earlier, Jay mentioned he was going to try and represent all his characters. Now he plays Ganryu, Geese, which I approve of, and Leroy. Now, do you stick with Leroy here? What do you think? Um, I guess it's I guess it's on the map. I mean, how I guess we could get it from your perspective being a, a Gamryu main. Do, do you like the Gamryu Paul uh, matchup to an extent? Do you, do you like it? Do you, you, you know what? It? I, do you know what? I do actually like the uh, so Gamryu versus Paul. I really like that matchup. Gamryu gets really good punishment on uh, on Paul stuff. So stuff like Paul's main pressure low is his quarter second forward three. He can't hit launch. It's minus fourteen. Now Gamryu has a wild rising fourteen frame launcher, and it's a lot of damage. So the the fact that you can blow Paul up for that really helps. And also even at long range, that fist. Gamry has got forward one plus two. It's a it's a fourteen frame, just like a like a big farm, and that does not whiff. I mean, it's going to catch it every time. I will say this: I would never in a million years intentionally pick geese against Paul, because geese at pretty much every range cannot punish Death Fist. It is a safe mid against him. That is pretty much the only weakness of geese. Yeah, any um, any tie, any matchup any matchup where Death Fist is is virtually safe. That's that's not a matchup you want to pick. It's, it, it is it is a really really big problem um and also yeah. another thing as well is that you might be inclined because you can't punish the death fist to try and read read a mid parry and get your damage that way problem is i mean paul has a high launcher he's got back three so if he sees you going for mid parry he can launch you for it and still keep his pressure up so i really said. don't like paul versus geese I, I, I personally i could see a gamry pick here but at the same time if you've got a leroy that's that strong why would you pick anyone else it's just if he sticks to his word i would say this is an opportunity where he could represent his gamry yeah and it's so funnily enough it, it's so easy to uh it's so easy to say like what you're gonna do prior prior to when the tournament starts but when you're in it mm -hmm. and especially for king j especially when he's got his first w on the board too he wants mm -hmm. to keep that going so oh, yeah, maybe maybe he's gonna maybe he might revert back to you know what I just want to I want to get out of this ball you know I'm in a good spot to do that so let me uh, let me pick, make the right decisions rather than just yeah you know rather than the other option but it's down it's to it's to his discretion we'll we're, we'll see we'll see what he's gonna go for the guys are in lobby right about now so the game should go underway very very soon I will say to Kirby's credit though Kirby is defense and neutral so I've only ever fought Kirby one time we ran into each other randomly on on rank months ago and we ran along and Kirby bizarrely was playing Yoshimitsu of all characters. I'll tell you what really stuck out about Kerberi. This is what really surprised me. His blocking 
is ridiculous. Like in neutral, he he is he plays so compact in the neutral game. It's just so hard to actually land a straight poke on him. Um, and that could stand him in good stead. If, if Jay goes for his Leroy, those orbitals, one of the big problems is they kind of just clip you. Kerber is very, very good at, against defending against those type of moves. So be interesting to see how uh, how this match gets approached. Yeah, we're about to get into it. We're about to take a peek at the character selection. What's it going to be? Okay, it's going to be Leroy. Leroy. Okay, yeah, it's going to be Leroy. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. So he's going to keep uh, he's going to keep it going. He's got himself bagged himself for W with the Leroy against Bonus Jin. So he's going to keep that going. Makes perfect sense. I could be wrong, but I think I think I'm not 100. percent It's uh, Leroy back three. His high launcher. I think it may launch Death Fist. It's just whether or not. Do you think so? I, I was I was thinking about that, but then I wasn't really sure. But if you if you think so, then I mean we'll see. I, we'll we'll see if I it gets demonstrated in the game. The thing is, I can't remember if back three is 18 or 17 frames. If it's 17, it'll launch it. But yeah, I'm, I'm sure this is something that, um, that King Jay that certainly labbed. It might get utilized in the set. We'll see, but we're in it. Right, we're we're it in, round number one. Taking it into soup. Nice small stage. This is this is Paul's bread and butter. This is where he thrives. I've got to say, I I highly approve of Kirby's choice of Bandito Paul. Big enthusiast <laughs> off the Bandito. Oh, nice. Guaranteed death fist. All right. All right. Mm. This is... Chunk, <laughs> chunks of damage in the down forward. Uh, the down forward, too. That might, that might be it. He gets uh, a flat one, yeah, yeah, yeah. no, just, sli just slightly off. Oh, but now we're going to see the mix from Leroy at home in Hillsweep. Mm -hmm. Oof. Damn one just saying no, sir. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Through that entire set, Kerberi hit like like six buttons. <laughs> yeah, literally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it how should, many should hits got... worked? See, that right should there, that's, the like... block. That's, where, that's where you could have wanted Camry because obviously you get a launch there. But uh, Leroy still gets, still gets damage. Oh, you need to against a death fist. Any damage is, Definitely. is better than. Oh, but he runs into a big forward four two two from Jay there. This is not going to be the wall, but it'll be damn close. Yeah, damn close. Oh, the orbit's okay. Until it's actually. Oh, he sidesteps him. The death fist whiffed. Are you serious? Oh, the mix. Another, another health sweep. Sidestep and again. Oh, that whiffs too. <laughs> Everything's whiff. Every every rage drive's whiff in. They're both virtually the same <laughs> life, and it's going to be Kerberi taking it. Kerberi coming in clutch. <laughs> Kerberi coming in very, very clutch. Coming Kerberi, two up. But how many two times do you need again. to kill Leroy before he actually gets KO? <laughs> That's crazy. That was mad. All right, that orbital pressure, though. Checking in with the mids. Good block on the down three. Jay doesn't commit. Smart. All right, so rare, rare footage of neutral right now. Very... Kerberi, Kerberi is in absolutely no rush. No rush whatsoever. Yeah. Oh, he's going to have to yeah, speed the other he... Oh, and the health speed takes it. Jay takes a round back. Yeah. Yeah, guess in the end. But yeah, he's got he's got he's got another round to play with. He's got another round to play with to one that. Yeah, definitely. The King definitely. Jay's mounting that comeback. And you and you've got to, and you've got to think two rounds down. Jay's got to be feeling even if it's a tiny bit, just a little bit of pressure. And pressure brings hubris, and that is exactly what uh, what Kerber is going to thrive off with. Ball. Oh, well, into character is dropping that combo though. Yeah, definitely. Oh, oh, I think that's all she wrote. If he, oh no no no, never mind. No, not what was quite. a weird range. No, no duck on the uh, Warriors in 3-2 there, though, but uh, Parry is going to take it, and we are going into the final round. Yeah, he's certainly mounting a comeback, King Jay. It's definitely not what you wanted to allow, Kerber, but... Oh, counter hit, though, on the uh, Now we're going to see some big damage. Uh -huh. Roughly one third. What's for breakfast? Down 3-2. Yeah, some more lows. Oh, Kane's coming out now. What's, what's your answer, Kerber? Right. I guess himself a counter hit. That's right. Now, the wall is to Paul's left side. While he's on here, Paul cannot use that sidestep shoulder to get out of that hermit pressure that he's been using. And Jay takes yeah, but... it forward, forward three, just goes straight through your step. Huge comeback for King Jay. Great. Two rounds Great down. And Two then rounds just... down, though, left. And, the... and then just ran the train all the way back, taking the first game, one to zero. Yeah, what an adjustment. What a mid-game you know, mid adjustment like that is, uh, yeah, it's huge, it's huge. What a comeback. Nicely done. I'm telling you, man, a lot. I think a lot of that comeback just came with that. that that hermit, the hermit mix-up is just spooky, man. That, that stuff is... It's kind of good, you know. It's, <laughs> it's, it's kind of nice. And that alongside just getting clipped with those uh, those orbitals too, just clipping you, just like, ugh. King J just knows how to get... He just knows how to make success out of those moves, man. He, he knows how to really utilize does. that that hermit uh, that hermit mix-ups along with the orbitals too. Yeah, and he's, he's utilizing it to his absolute fullest. And uh, yeah, he's looking very, very nice, especially with that comeback. Very, very impressive. Um, 
that could have gone either way to be fair it's just that uh, Jay just found another gear in the end but um, that's not to uh, that's not to say Kerberry's out so this Kerberry is a very very fundamentally strong player and we've got a slightly larger stage now geometric plane All right, yeah, not stage you see very often. It's always nice to get a bit of variety. <laughs> you see it all too often in Birmingham. This is a Mortal Souls training stage. <laughs> <laughs> if we see it all too often. <laughs> round one. Oh dear. Fight. All right, going into uh, going into round two. Jay immediately taking the initiative, poking with those lows, and he parries the sway mix. Mm -hmm. Again. <laughs> Kerberry, you get it. You're gonna have to change up that timing, my dude. Count magic four, but no conversion. Oh my Again? god, Jay's just parrying everything. Virtually all his damage has come from the power and finish yeah, it with the low two. Wow. Reversal, uh, sir. Reversals. <laughs> yeah. What it's scary when you think about it. I mean, Ker Kerberry, the thing about Kerberry is he's very selective about how and when he pokes. To get timing on that, like, and for it to be so reliable, he was three and three. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, wow. That sidestep barge. <laughs> yep. Evasion from both sides. <laughs> that was nice. Very that was nice. Like... Please launch this. That's a launch. Nice. Yeah. Okay, going for the big oh, yeah. damage. That's optimal. That, that shoulder is a lot harder than it looks like. Sorry, the old one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, with the B Tech Death Fist. And then catch oh, the low hit. into the mid. Jay tried to punish it. Yeah, that, that's the worst, you know, when you get when you get the low, but the second hit comes too, and you get Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Like and, he, and even then with Paul, there's a third extension you can do as well. <laughs> I mean, it's, yeah, it's yeah, a nightmare yeah. to punish. Jay catching him with that back one, though. Counter hit. Big damage. Oh, only minor punishment, but turns it into a 50 50. That was a nice, nice option for more damage, actually. Okay, mm -hmm. looks like Jay's not even attempting the back three on that Death Fist. So maybe, maybe yeah. it doesn't work. Yeah, I was going to say, there's been a few instances now of uh, the Death Fist yeah. being, uh, being flexed and no response. Yeah, for real. But now Jay's got him in the corner. He's got almost no HP. Wow, are you serious? He can do that. He can come back. Oh, he jumped the Death Fist! What? What, an <laughs> what an option. If it works, he's a genius. The man's a genius if it works. How does the man jump in mids? If, he, if, if, he, if it works, he did it intentionally. I, 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 oh, I, I, uh, that's right, that's right. You're getting back for jumping that mid Kerberry fist this match. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. He, he wanted he wanted death fist him so bad. Oh, big whiff. But Jay kind of gets away with it. Throw goes unbroken. No, he's got the mix at the wall. We're going to see a lot more yeah. down ones. And yep, just chips it out yeah, with a final round. Another final round situation. So will it be Kerberry taking it this time? Because this says last time it was King Jay that clutched it out. Kerber Kerberry's taking an early lead, but you can't sleep on Jay's damage potential with Leroy. He can, he can explode and just take 100 HP like that. Yeah. And here we go. It begins. Okay, backing off to neutral, backing off. Oh no, the orbital again! The Welcome success to the... rate is too, too damn high. Welcome to the Leroy show, in with the cane. Oh, grand hitting punches. <laughs> oh, the wall makes up, it's so strong now. Oh, Kerberry gets the counter hit. Okay, he could come back. Blue Death Fist, surely, yes. And again! I did it again? <laughs> gets a splat and that's a damn one to end it. Ooh. Well, you're not Brand jumping that one, my friend. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I have to jump in that one. I'm not happy. <laughs> Not happy. He was like, "Give it, give us. You're getting hit by this death fist. You will get death fist hit." <laughs> you, know, you know what's funny about that too? I uh, I was uh, looking up uh, looking up his Twitter, and his Twitter like description literally says, "I'm gonna do death fist, and you're gonna get hit." <laughs> literally. <I> mean... <laughs> so Kirby, uh, yeah, Kirby, Kirby definitely definitely needed that one. Definitely needed that one. Um, well, we're all kind of now. Both ga both games have been super close to be fair. Yeah, very, very close. But it was just the fact that because King J edged it last time, you expect is he going to do it again? But now Kirby's going to clutch it out himself, and he definitely needed it. So good job to him, taking it to a uh, final game situation. Final, final round now. It's, it's, honestly, yeah, have, I you do the think yeah, have you seen the four? You, you seen the forehead cam? Forehead cam? Forehead cam? Forehead cam? Oh, you missed it. Yeah, yeah. We could just yeah, it was just like a forehead view, but it, it was pretty hype. I liked it. My oh, sick, sick, sick. <laughs> yours, yours is looking nice. Your, yours is looking kind of nice too, man. No, my uh, my forehead looks horrible. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I know it was a I know it was a really close game both times. Genuinely, I do think there's a lot to be said for picking Gamrio against Paul. I really do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, he did he did flex a few death fists this uh, this time around um, this game, and there wasn't really an answer. Um, I know we were. I know we were wondering if if there was an answer, and maybe whether there's well, one that's consistent. I know, I know for a fact, as Leroy, I know for an absolute fact you can punish Death Fist with forward four four, but it's range dependent. So, yeah. but again, if he's if he's feeling tentative because of the ranges, and obviously Kerber is no stranger to spacing it correctly, where it's hard to punish. You do not have to worry about that as Gamryu. Just every single time, no boop, every time. Yeah. 
And it's just the fact that the fact that you don't have to worry about distance, the fact that you can just write, I'm just going to press this button, doesn't matter, mm -hmm. is way more favorable than having to, in that split second, look at the range, make that judgment, and then go for it. You don't, it's not what you want to deal with uh, mm -hmm. mid game. Um, so, yeah, so maybe he might go for an easier option. Here's a chance to display that. Um, his knowledge of his uh his his characters that he uses as you mentioned before or maybe he's just gonna sit leroy and it was very close too keep in mind so it wasn't, those it wasn't options make sense. i mean if you get if you just switch to gamu he's going in cold he's been playing leroy all day so uh you know he'll still be thinking in leroy in his head when he goes into the match at least for the first few seconds yeah yeah exactly so um yeah i'm i'm I probably couldn't call what he's gonna go for in terms of character. He might, he might go that Ganners. He might, he might stick with the Leroy. I wouldn't be surprised either way. To be, to be honest, I think, I think we're just gonna see a final final round again, but with Leroy. Um, I, personally, I would like to see the Gamu, but I do, it's probably not gonna happen. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We're about, we're just about loading in. So, uh, you know, it's been very exciting. Like uh, dur during the lockdown league as a whole. Something that's really exciting. It's just wonder. It's just wondering like what, uh, what characters people are going to use. Because I know a lot of these guys have been. They got a lot. They got a lot of characters. There's a lot of guys in this uh in this group in the top twenty that play like more than one. And you just wonder like what they're going through, what they're thinking in terms of character, what matchups they like and dislike. It's very interesting. Very very interesting. I feel like online everybody has a couple of pocket characters, but when you go offline, that's when you that's when you kind of um specialize. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I believe so. I believe so. So he is going to um, stick with the Leroy. Sticking with the Leroy, Violet Systems, pretty much the same. Well, it looks like an intentional stage pick by, um, by Jay. I mean, Violet Systems and Geometric Plane are basically identical stages, so maybe just wants the aesthetic difference. Yeah, this is it. It's going to be okay. a final game of the set. Now, in the last set, Leroy started... Uh, Leroy, Jay started very, very aggressively, but uh, Kerberi taking the lead this time. Gets him to the wall, that's a good uh, range. Big damage, one... into rage. And then he commands him for his triples. He, he hit him twice and he died. Oh, <laughs> so this is um so this is a very important game for both of these guys. So with this with the, a W for King J, he's gonna go up 2 0 in his set. Yeah, in, definitely. Uh, I mean, court. he'll be he'll be knocking on the door to qualify into that top eight if he can take this. But Kerberi is not giving him uh, not giving him much scope to do it so far. But Jay answering back with that orbital, nice. We're gonna get to the we're gonna get to the far wall here actually. Ooh, uh, just just sure. shy of, yeah, just sure, yeah. just sure. Very, very close oh, there. Catch him with that slash kick again, though. What's the mix? Sidestep large. Oh, wow, weird wall splat. Demo man. Oh, no. Blue yeah. Deathfist. Deathfist. Oh, he's waiting for the waiting for the reversal. No rage, though. But just shy of rage, King J. Uh, nice. Down 3 yeah. 2 takes it. Down 3 2. Yeah, very, very nice. Nicely done. One round apiece. This is such a good game, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so Kerberi not even uh, not even humoring the death fist now. He's going for that B tech death fist. Quarter circle back two, completely safe. But get a launch for his troubles though. Jay with that four four two two, going to send him to the wall. This is definitely going to splat. Okay, nice one two boom. Big damage. Go for that. Go for that health sweep again. He's been so health sweep heavy on his Oki. He's going to have to watch for it. Kerberi's going to start scouting it. Mhm. Mm Kerberi doing a good job fighting way through the wall. If anything, okay, putting up. Uh, putting Ching Jay to the wall, but he's fighting his way back out. What a great sidestep, but that orbital recovers so fast. It's he got the splat, is that? The oh, wait, no! Weird splat! Oh, that saved the unscaled damage, and Jay robs it back. Yeah. And that is set point yeah. to King Jay. Not the damage I expect. Yeah, not the damage I expected. I, I expected the kill, but yeah, this is it, it hit a little bit weird. Basically, like he hit the wall too high or something on the 3-2. On the yeah. Okay, Kurt Barry not even entertaining the temporary punish on that. And just trying to poke with those downfall ones, but Leroy just counter hitting him for his troubles. Orbital again. Okay. Oh, and he gets parried. Then the parry. And then the kick. It's the trade. Oh, wow. No. Nope. Oh, no. He's oh, not, not like this. And he hit against it. Oh, not like this. He hit him oh, so Oh, no. F in the, F in the chat for Kerberry. F in the chat. Big F. He, that was so many opportunities. So many opportunities. There was a first a down four two, which he didn't go with straight into the rage art. But, he, but that was fine because you can get that combo. But he dropped the combo too, and then yeah. he hits him with another one. But but King J was crouching. I, oh man, <laughs> what so Bruh. many. Bruh. <laughs> I think are 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 the stars aligned for King J today? Because it definitely is definitely looking like it. It's, it's, all, mean... it's, it's all it's all coming up rosy for King J right now. Gotta be sad. Gotta be sad. He's up, up two and zero. Bonus Jin and Turbo both uh, both falling to him. But uh, there's still plenty of games to go. J is not out of the woods yet. He's still got two opponents to fight against. Yeah. Yeah, he's he, he's sit, he's sitting pretty. He's looking kind of nice, but yeah, he, he definitely should not expect uh, to just 
roll through the rest of this group because it's uh yeah competition very very fierce let me get the brackets up actually i want to see what's been happening off of, off stream there's some red hot off stream action and i haven't seen any of it all right but it looks like we're gonna get yeah, looks like we're going to get bon yeah, bonus gin versus Kerberi is going to be our next one up. So both of these guys have fallen to King J. Um, both of these guys are probably pretty salty. If I was Kerberi, <laughs> I'd be hella salty. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty sure I can say with absolute confidence. I think I can say for everyone, both me and you and everyone in the chat, that nobody has been hit by two, two or three down four twos from Paul and been alive. Only King J. Only King J has survived that. So, the, man's yeah, got so the, he's the man has definitely it. got the look of the Irish on his side, but at the end of the day, success is born out of opportunity in Jay Tokyo's. Yeah, yeah, we take so. he definitely takes those. So yeah, yeah, so that's the why he's the position he's in. So yeah, these yeah. two guys are definitely want to get a W, and they absolutely do not want to go. Both very, both very very strong contenders for that second spot though. So uh, this is yeah. really going to be the decider because the loser of this is going to be two games down. It gets very very hairy at that point. Yeah. For sure. But yeah, we're about to get the, into this very, very soon. We're uh, very early on in this top 20, but uh, already the games are looking hella scary, hella fierce. So it's just going to be all of that for hours on end. So please, guys, in this very quick in intermittent between games, uh, get that Macharino going. We're at uh, 620, uh, 620.84, I believe. Yeah, let's keep, let's keep that going. We're sitting very pretty. Let's get to that uh, 750. And get those uh, first to three. First to three for the top eight. First to Tomorrow. three in the final. And first to three. Yeah. So good. Let's get that going. Exclamation point. Matcherino in the chat. Get those sponsorships going. Be hugely so, appreciated. Bonus, but for now. Bonus Jim once again opting not to go for his Nina. He's going for the Zafina against Kilberry as well. Interesting. Yeah, again. That, it might be. It might just be a uh, another matchup situation that, he, that he's not really feeling with the Nina. Or maybe he just fancies, uh, fancies a Safina. We'll, uh, we'll see, we'll see. Well, well, does Kerr, does Kerr very fight a lot of good Safinas? That's, that's another question. A relatively new character and not, and not that well represented either, in spite of how strong she is. Mm -hmm. yes, we'll see. Yeah, I've got, I've, got, I've got to think Kerr very doesn't know the matchup too much. So, uh, so Safina there went for uh, one for her Twin Pistons. Oh no, never mind, never mind, shut my mouth. So the Twin, <laughs> Pistons, the twin Pistons is minus 10, you can jab finish it, and the jabs also interrupt the follow-up, so you should always go for jabs there. But it should be stated that this is a very, very, very quiet start from Kirby. I dare say he's even pressed more than three buttons this round. I would say Kirby. Kirby always starts slow. He, 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 if it doesn't make sense to him, he doesn't do it. Okay. So, I mean, you need some data to work with. There Ooh, you go. That's that pays off. We get a blue death fist on the wall, and he is right back in this game. Uh -huh. Demo man. Oh, and bonus shit now on the support. He Welcome to the world of Paul Phoenix. He didn't press any buttons until like 20 seconds into the game. Bonus shit poking. Ah! And nice. Big jab that clutches it out, but Same that was. I mean, I mean, what did Bonus Jim do? He hit him with one mid and one low. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't believe that he didn't press any buttons until like 20 seconds into the round, and he almost won. <laughs> well, he, 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 knew, he knew where to place them. <laughs> yeah, wow. I mean, yeah, that's cool. Do it again. Do it again. Oh, okay. It would have worked as well. <laughs> oh, I want to see. Yeah. I want to see. I want to see Big Brain five demo mans in a row. That's what I want to see. Yeah, give it. Give it. Yeah. Give it to us. Give it to us. Absolutely. Oh, there he is. He's flexing that down forward too. Super, super scary. Pressure, though. What can Paul actually do about it? He's trying a neutron bomb into it. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, went for the punish, but he's going to get launched for that. Yeah, That's unfortunate. Up, yeah. And Safina's got that wall pressure now. In fact, that might be the splat he he's wants. Different. Oh my oh. goodness. Gets that splat. Gets two rounds up. Nicely done from uh, from Bonus Jin. Great Safina response. looking very, very on point. Go very. I think it's time to go in, my dude. Good block yeah, on the hot pick, no connection. Oh, counter from the Mantis, the bonus just going to send to the wall, and now he's got to deal with this horrible Oki okay, okay again. Oh, bonus drops his combo, though. Yeah, got oh, a lot of damage for it anyway. So okay. This is a huge, Fails huge on. life lead. Yep. And good mix after the uh, after the pistons as well. Bonus just still, still using that twin piston pressure. Kovary's got to start jabbing that first hit. And these low pokes, man. But the down forward two whiffs. Now put doing whiffs entirely, and yeah. Bonus just brings it three to one. Yeah. I, I mean, it's turns a lot from Kerberry there, but couldn't really get anything started. I mean, yeah, when he, I mean, the blue death fist at the wall was, was sick, but the bonus yeah. just controlled him so well. Yeah, Kerberry, yeah, Kerberry starts off, uh, as you mentioned, he does start off kind of slow, and just the fact that, I think with Paul Phoenix, you, you can afford to start off low. 
but to start off slow, you know, and then just like that, in a few seconds, you're doing big damage up against the wall. I mean, let's get right be real. Even, even if you have full health, the moment Paul has the red dress on, Paul is winning. Yeah. <laughs> so... Yeah, absolutely. But, but yeah, but Jonas Jin just done a great job nullifying all that, nullifying uh, Kirby's options and uh, getting himself the Definitely. first game. So yeah, good stuff to him. Excellent stuff. <laughs> Oh, let me just have a quick look at these brackets. Now, I'm reading that Cheng Bang has, uh, has opted to disqualify himself, so this is only a four-man fight now. Right, okay. All right. Well, very, yeah, very unfortunate. But I'm um, unfortunate about the circumstances, but uh, we we move on. We, pre we press on. So we won't be seeing any, uh, we won't be seeing any um, Julia goodness uh, in Pool A, but we will be seeing some later on, I don't doubt. Right, so yeah, so no no changes on either side, which probably expected. I know he he seems like he's a big fan of that, be a big fan of the geometric plane. Oh, it's a nice big square stage. You know, he's done on geometric plane. It's like it's like vanilla. Everyone likes vanilla. Yeah, Round yeah, yeah. One. Can't go wrong. Fight. Yeah. So Kirby's definitely got to do what he can in this game, especially considering he he just you just don't want to go zero and two in this situation at this no, time really of, at this time of the tournament. And with only four players in, 0-2 is a lot more significant as well. I mean, I mean, two. In, it, if you were to go down two, you could you could still pretend he's only got one more opponent to go. So the best he could get is one in two after that. So somebody here is going to be eliminated. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, just yeah. The fact that um Chang Bang's yeah. DQ'd has made this game yeah, look way this. more. I, I, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't see any way you can possibly get through now with with a single win. So the loser of this is going home. Yeah. Oh yeah, wow. That's just racist. Just we're from the same edge, and, and Kirby takes it. Okay, cool. Yeah. Kirby's fine right now. Um, you know, suddenly this match feels like it's uh, got a lot more pressure now that you know the concept. Yeah, I know, right? Just like that, yeah. Just like that, it's like, oh, oh, this is real now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow! Oh, catch him with that old back, too. How's he good? Let me check you. Yeah, oh, that Scarecrow pressure? Wow, so I walked straight through, the, straight through that Scarecrow uh, 1 plus 2 pressure. It's kind of mad. Mm -hmm. And bonus shit. Okay, bonus shit starting to feel the pressure. He's going for snake edges. That is a sign of desperation. Yeah. I mean, he's got. I mean, you got to do what you got to do when Kirby's playing so clean defensively. You just got to like yeah, just go it. for the hell Mary. Good counter hit there for uh, bonus shit though. Starting to work back into it. And no, he gets counter. He's been too active on these buttons. You've got to. You've got to slow down. Mm -hmm. This is it. This yeah. is where Kirby shines. Yeah. And now we got the wall pressure. He tries to fist her, but she says no. You must buy her dinner first, Kirby. You must buy dinner first. <laughs> Guess it just frame two anime, love it. Big damage. Oh wow! Okay, we're we gonna see. I'm gonna see a rage cancel. Surely. Oh, look at that fist. Oh. That'll do. One, two, That's a lot of damage. Ooh! Oh, he went for the low. He actually went for the low. Commits to the second hit. Oh, Kirby taking it. Kirby no. dodges the bullet and keeps himself alive in this group, but uh, it ain't ever yet. It ain't ever yet. That's one all. That's one one. No, oh, is that is that one more? Oh, wait, that's that's one one. He's, just tying, he's just tying it up. Kirby oh, he needed that. Yeah, him. jeez. Yeah, yeah. He, he needed that. God damn. Woo. I bet he is. Uh, yeah, relief is an understatement for him. It's, he, he's, uh, keeping it's... It, he's keeping his. He's keeping it alive. One 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 one. So uh, it is now squeaky bum time for both of these players. Let's uh, let's yeah. see who digs the deepest. Yeah, I I I can assure you that they were not expecting. For it to be so early, for it to be such a risky, such a, such an important match for these guys. And the, but that um, is the nature yeah. of the beast. This league, this league is savage. It is savage. Yeah. It really is. I mean, look at look at King J. He's topping this league in the lockdown league pools just to get into this tournament. My man drowned. And look at here. It's yeah. It's it's crazy, man. It's uh. It's just it's all about how you play on the day, right? So if, if yeah. you're if you're playing nice, especially now, you know, you're you're sitting pretty and get yourself a top two finish and you're yeah, you're looking kind of nice. So what changes are we going to see, if any? And there's the number. <laughs> I think I'm beginning to understand the strategy now. Get it to 1-0 or get it to 1-1, I should say. And then force the opponent to fight his Nina first to one. Yeah. That sounds like a terrifying prospect. This 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 is beginning to make sense. Like I respect it, bonus you know, I respect it. Now, yeah. how many poison mists are we gonna see? Let's have a bingo game. How many how many are you guessing, Jack? Uh I'm just the one. I think just the one. Just the one. Okay, there's your one, there's your one. I'm gonna say four. Oh, oh you're gonna say oh, I thought you meant one that actually hit. I mean, in terms of just seeing it in general, oh I'm gonna say a lot higher. I'm gonna say Okay, 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 okay. poison mist that hit, poison mist that hit. Okay, so you're saying yeah, one, one that hit. I'm gonna say okay. four. 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 Ooh, okay. four. All right, all right. Four. Big balls. Yeah, he's spitting. He's spitting. He's spitting today. 
My death hit us though, but Nina gonna fight back now. We've got all of the every county at all in the world to fight back against Paul now. And Paul's yeah. just a little bit too close to comfort to that wall as well. Bonus chin can go in at any point. Good on the throw, but oh wow, he made the side step with it. Does it again? Gonna... Oh. It ain't gonna matter. Hey, hold this fist for me real quick. My man got my man. It didn't work the first time. If it don't work the first time, do it again. Yeah. All right. God damn. So yeah, that's one way to take around. So you have to curb Bray. Now, like you said. Oh, Oh, Nina's got those. Uh, yeah, Nina's got those. Uh, those counter hits, but I mean, Kirby's a single, very, uh, a single spray button is good, and Nina is going to launch you at any yeah. time. But it's very oh, rare for Kirby. To, it's very rare to for Kirby to do do a button that goes astray. You know, the man's very conservative with his buttons. It's going to be very for hard real, to get yeah. him on a counter hit. Yeah, he, very very low number of buttons hit, but uh, all very well placed. And now we're going to see the rage drive. Oh, okay. And Kerberry is putting, just and Kerber is putting bonus gin to the sword. It is now set point to Kerberry. Scotland coming through. Gets him with the big tiger knee. The demo man. Can he launch this? No, he can't. Get some damage done. Are we going to see it? Uh, yeah, we're going to see an arm break. And it's reversed. And because Paul has an arm break, he can arm break back for it. That's it. I love that. <laughs> what interaction. <laughs> yeah, 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 you you barely see that. that. Wow. <laughs> no, arms are getting broken. He's, he's broken both their arms. Jesus. But Nina's going to take him to the wall for his triples here. Or near enough. No worries Ooh, in one so move. Oh, but the run the run through has not worked and, out for him. And Kerberry has just taken Bonus Jim's Poison Mist out of the game. And a great block that Blue Death Fist. What's the next? Who again? Yes. We didn't get a play one. He blocked it out anyway. I, I, and don't quote oh. me, but I think Bonus Jim, who I, who, I had, who I had to get through this, this into the top eight, has just been eliminated. I mean, with, with, with the DQ, coming in clutch. yeah, with the um, with that DQ, that that might be all she wrote for uh, for bonus gin. I think I think yeah. that's that. But we'll see, we'll see, we'll, we'll we'll see. We might be wrong, so we'll we'll just play. It. The group will be played out regardless. So we'll yeah. we'll wait till the end of the uh, the group to finalize the scoring. Yeah, definitely. I'm just gonna have a closer look at me uh, in the brackets. It's uh, it's Swiss, isn't it? The first round. So yeah, yeah, we'll. Uh... See if there is any way you can make it. People who are a lot smarter than me will already know, and I have no doubt somebody's already corrected me in the chat. But <laughs> so far as I'm aware, I think that's all she wrote for bonus gym there. A good showing though. I was very impressed with his uh, with both his Nina and his defeater all the way through. He didn't get the he didn't get the dub today, but uh, well played. Yeah. Very, very well played. Yeah, we're getting some we're getting some good matches, man. It's very early on, but we're getting some very, very good matches. Now um Definitely. no I no, I believe that we do have some uh, during this intermittent. Looks like we have a few interviews coming up. So, guys, oh, tune sweet. in. Yeah, get some uh, get some interviews coming in, and we'll um we'll be right back in a moment. So the question is now, can I beat Chicken Maru? So I tried my hardest. You saw how much I suffered in the last uh, lockdown league. 3-0 he beat me, then he went 1-0 up and then 1-1, one, one. then 2-1, two, 2-2, one, two, two. it was insane and he's always beaten me, I've not beaten Chicken Maru in the last year I think. There was some place in the UK he beat me, that was the first one, then he beat me in Greece, um, then he beat me in Celtic Throwdown and he beat me in lockdown league he's probably beaten me more times as well to be honest um but yeah he's just way too strong um but i do believe i have to believe um and i think that's what makes a really really good player is if you believe in your own ability and believe you can win which is what i believe so i very recently just a couple of weeks ago fought against chicken maru in a first to five set. I was already extremely exhausted from that point because I'd just been Shen, Ru Kang, and King, King J. Um, I beat his Julia 4 0, so Chicken is probably never going to play Julia against me in tournament again. But then he 5 0 me with Josie. And um, there's no excuse for that. I got banged up. I got that close. Literally one hit confirm away from winning at one point, but that's how it goes. Um,. I've done some labbing, I've watched the set back, I figured out what I did wrong, and I think if I fight Chicken in the run back, you know, I was one of the guys who gave Chicken one of his first offline tournament losses all the way back in, I think, the first WSO. So I've beat Chicken before, he's beat me. After that, he has a slight edge over me in sets, but 
It's always close. It's always close against Chicken. And I think if I'm on my A game, I can I can knock him out. Can you beat Chicken Maru? <laughs> um, it's a really tough question because he's such a good player. So it's, you know, you really have to match his pace of play. Um, but I definitely think it's doable though. It's doable. If you're sharp on the day and, um, you know, you're just, you're ready for Josie, all the strings, you know, he's definitely beatable, but he's really good. So you need, really need to play sharp. But yeah, I think it's doable. Yeah, sure, why not? There's, there's nothing saying that I can. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing saying that I can. But of course, uh, Jackie Mario is an extremely strong player. And I have not played them since probably PS4 days. If I you know what, like, uh, Berlin offline. And the guy's just solid, man. The guy is just solid. Uh, that's all I have to say. But there's no saying that I can't be. And of course I can beat Chicken Maru, but me and him have such a, such a long history. Um, my main training partner, my main traveling partner. Um, you know, he he he's always a tough opponent for me. But I just feel like I just feel like it's a bit of a community thing when it comes between me and Chicken Maru. And uh, I just feel like I can get him. Um, I feel like this is my time. He beat me in the last lockdown league. So it, it's definitely time for me to beat him in this one and send him out of the tournament. I feel like that's my role here. Uh, yabba dabba do. Um, no, no chance. Um, I've played him before and he actually knows Shaheen really well. Um, and yeah, even if I switched, you know, one of my sub characters like Jack or something like that, um, I still think he could easily beat me. So uh, no, I don't think I could beat him. No. If I do need to play Chicken Maru, um, we've only played once before and she beat me. Uh, but I would like to get the round back, and if I do, then we'll see. No. Can I beat Chicken Maru? Um, how do you answer this yes without saying arrogant? Um, basically what I'm saying is that uh, I think anybody can beat anybody if they are able to um, get ahead in their mind games, if they're able to um, read the opponent, if they're able to execute properly. Um, can I do that in the current um, environment where I maybe don't know the, all the matchups as well as I could? Uh, that's hard to say. Um, I'd like to have the opportunity to try though. Can you beat Chicken Maru? Well, Chicken Maru is carried by whatever character he picks against me, to be honest. Um, he's just carried, whatever he picks. If he picks Claudio against me, he's fucking carried. He's carried by, I'm not, but he's carried by Claudio if he picked Claudio against me. But yeah, I think I can beat him. Um, I'm pretty sure I can beat him. He just, as long as online don't mess me up. I mean, if, if, I, if I beat him, then I'm sick. If I lose, it's because of online. That's pretty much what's gonna happen. Uh, but yeah, I definitely think I can beat him. If I can beat Chicken Maru, of course I can beat Chicken Maru. Offline. Online, you know, there are many factors to consider. Connection, lag and so on. And it's not it's not simple, but anyway, um I I upgraded my connection so I'm really looking forward to confront the guy as well. I got a score to settle. Can I beat Chicken <laughs> Oh, when I read this, I had the same thought as I have now. The question is not, can I beat Chicken Maru? Because I've done that multiple times. The question is, can Chicken Maru beat me? Uh, so this is a last second of Welcome back, guys. Welcome, welcome back. Uh, there's been a bit of a hiccup, but we're uh, we're back. We're back, so it's all good. My, minor difficulties, but we're appreciating you guys sticking with us. And shout out to all the guys in the back doing that good work to get this run in. Uh, it's a tall order, but they always come through. So shout yeah, out to them. Definitely, definitely. ELF always doing work. Uh, Gotta love them. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, yeah. the uh, the first game. So it looks like uh, it looks like we're concluded with Group A. Yeah, so uh, well, now we're going into Pool B. So the final results of Group A, off stream, King J won his third match. So King J goes undefeated into the top eight of this tournament, winner's side. And in loser's side, drumroll, Kerberry, second place. 
and a very impressive performance. So Scotland is going to be representing the lockdown league in the in that top eight, and a great showing by the guy. Yeah, excellent stuff. Uh, and yeah, big congratulations are in order for these guys. They've done. Uh, King Jay, I gotta say, he was looking very clean, mm. very very clean. Uh, I mean, board, borderline untouchable, dare I say. Yeah, I mean, so, I mean there, were, can, um... there were times, there were times when it came, when it could have gone out of the way, but those, but every single time he just picked out an orbital at the perfect moment every time, and, mm. and that, and that was enough to send him through. But now we're beginning on to Paul B, and our first match is going to be, we're going to see more of Scotland. We're going to see Mr. Lewis, Divine Tricks himself, best shall you EU, best shall you Planet Earth, probably. <laughs> versus uh, versus Young John Dawn Yeager. Yeah, and it, it depends. Who are we gonna see? Are we gonna see Dawn Yeager? Are we gonna see John, or are we gonna see Young John? Young Johners. Well, I the think versus Sha I, th I think versus Show you one thing's for sure. We're definitely gonna see Zafino rather than Steve. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's highly likely. But we'll see, yeah, we'll see what he likes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I don't see how we can back one Show you out of our Phoenix, like even John. We'll see, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what John yeah, going up against. I mean, I wonder... I'm curious to see how much experience he has uh, against this character, uh, to be honest. Uh, I I mean, he normally plays with, you know, the, the top players in the UK uh, pretty regularly, I would have thought, so... I'm, the thing sure about, they, I'm wondering if they have any any uh, any history, maybe, as well. It's, it's, the thing about Dawn Yeager is he is very, very much a student of the game. Like, his technical knowledge is almost unparalleled. Um, yeah. So when it comes to actual theory fighting, um, he's in that. And that to me means that when you get to like the the, the sort of like the fundamental shall you turn stealing approach of sidestep right into our Phoenix, he's going to be very ready for that. So, so so, so I, I think we'll see him approach this matchup with almost sort of almost a mechanical approach. Um, and I, th I don't think you'll want to get into a mind game with shall you as much as possible. So uh, I'm expecting quite a slow paced uh, approach from from, uh, from John in this match, and. Uh, Unbelievable shenanigans from Lewis. So can't yeah. wait to see uh, to see how hard he robs everyone in the group. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Well, this is yeah, this is group way, group B. We are about to get uh, well into it. Yes. And this is where it all kicks off. Yeah, yeah. Divine tricks. Let's get going. Let's get going. Let's stay on Earth. We'll Counter hit straight much away. Up, as you would expect. Lewis, uh, Lewis starting off with the aggression and, and Dawn just, just picking his spots and netting so much damage for it. Yeah. Oh, one counter hit, no less. One counter hit, oh, back wow. of damage, good positioning. And that's all she wrote. And Dawn starting off very strong. The man didn't last 20 seconds. Get those golden letters. Re very early on, Dawn. I, th I, I think we're, I, right now. We're, we're seeing John. Are we going to see Young John? Let's find out. Mm -hmm. So one, one thing's out the window. Dawn Jaeger is definitely not here. So it's just a matter of, is it John? <laughs> is it pre bet or is it going to be pre John? John, that was normal hit. What? That was normal hit. I don't think Lewis knows there's a Zafina matchup. Oh, no. If that, it, that's uh, that that's a big worry. That anti slow mid is not a normal a natural combo. I can only assume he didn't recognize the string. Mm -hmm. Excellent lateral movement from... Uh, and Don, and Don's taken a colossal lead so far. Lewis has got all the work in the world to do now. Yeah. Okay, but now we're starting yeah. off with our R Phoenix pressure. Even Zafina's got to hold that. Nice hits. But John is just forward. having his way. He's just pressing the buttons that he's pressing or working out. Good tech. Okay, Lewis has been, Lewis has very nice. And the warbands. Okay, now we're going to see some ridiculous divine trickery. <laughs> and John okay, Weber, well done. Him. Yeah. And he's done a very good job defensively. No, we're not. Hits his just frame, though. And now we'll reset back into neutral. Now, Rage Drive is an issue. What well, Rage Drive would have been an issue had uh, had Show You not just gotten clapped. John didn't have a single issue that entire game. That was a, not, that not was even a bit of a walk. That not was a slightly. bit of a wash. Young John there, has there. entered the building. Young John has yeah. entered the building. Yeah, Young John is looking very impressive. I mean, to be fair, I mean, it's, it's the first game for um for Divine Trick uh, and for John too. So it might have just been Divine Trick being a little bit cold, I suppose. But like, Perhaps, that's one way to get it... warmed up. That's one way to get warmed up. It's... Perhaps, but if you think about the metrics of this sort of match, Xiao Yu is going to approach this match very aggressively, trying to land big hits, trying to uh, trying to mix you up, and Dawn's just trying to get a feel for it and um, and uh, and find it and pick his spots where he can. Now that in a first to one favors Xiao Yu heavily because because the Zafina is still learning. Zafina doesn't really want to do too much. Now he can start to open the taps. So it's almost like from fighting Zafina on medium going into hard mode now. And the fact that John yeah. took that first game so convincingly. 
Divine Trix has got his work cut out now. That's not yeah. to write him up. I mean, the guy has got a million and one setups. I, I can absolutely see him coming back, but now now life has gotten very tough for the guy. Yeah, by any means. I feel like uh, in some cases, oh, and he's, he's, he's got rid of the Ling entirely, which is uh, interesting. I have never seen thing. Divine Trix play Noctis. Never once. I suppose he might feel a kind of way about the matchup, I suppose, because he, he's opted for a switch entirely, which is a very interesting strat. But we'll see if it pays off. Interesting, but um, well, I mean, if you are if you are going to play uh, if you are going to play Noctis, being a Scottish player, obviously he's got one of the best Noctises around to uh, to learn how to play with. We're immediately seeing that two-two pressure. I mean, we got the word we got the word from ISMV. Um, apparently, the the Noctis is sick. So I'm, so that, I'm, I'm okay. hoping for it. I'm hoping for it. I, I, if the Noctis is sick, let's see what he can do. So far, the poking has been good, and um, yeah. definitely a lot more even, but now we're seeing that Safina pressure. Deals with that down forward one series, but no punish! No punish? Wasn't able to really struggle with that punish there, that might be an issue yeah. for Noctis, we'll see. Quite possibly, although, yeah. although maybe maybe back on two, I would think. But no, the counter hit, that's going to be it. And uh, and Young Young taking his fourth consecutive round. We could see a double no round round. Yeah. I don't, yeah, John doesn't look particularly wavered by the character, sw uh, character switch from uh, Demon no. Trick. But may maybe, um, maybe some, uh, maybe something ominous to show how he's going to play against Hulk as well. I mean, this is a yeah, good one might... for, uh, for Dawn. Yeah, definitely. But this might be the round of fine tricks finally get into this match. He's looking very, yeah, very ominous. He's, he's got the wall pressure now. And was, oh, that's going to be it, actually. And stab. No? Yeah. Not even. But, but that's enough. Yeah. And the aura. Yeah. Little flex, little flex. I like it, Lewis. Show me what you got. Yeah, Bring yourself back into yeah, this game. Yeah, he's feeling it now. Yeah, he's definitely feeling it now. He looks like the uh, the cobwebs are uh, shaking off. Yeah, the rust is no him. more. He's looking well. He's looking very comfortable right now. So hopefully he can get himself a few more rounds. Get himself a both, game. Both players look like they're playing a little bit nervous to me as well. I've got to say. Yeah. 2-2 two -two pressure. And, Yannis, uh, uh, and John's having absolutely none of it. Another count hit. But he drops his combo into yeah, the roll. Very the ball, it's so good. It's very, very good. Very, very scary. Oh, hop kick! Nice! Well, hop me, I suppose. Okay, hop that's going to be all she wrote, but now you got to hold this full crash mix up. Uh-huh. The ladies get up. Good option from... Throw goes unbroken. Okay. And the Oki set up. Terrifying in that situation. Excellent Definitely. option from Dawn. And just like and Dawn that, looking... Dawn is one round away. And immediately shuts down the aura as well. Backdashes out of range, gets in fast enough to get another whip finish. That's great play from, uh, from, uh, from John there. And another throw goes unbroken. Now he knows not to stand. Cool. Good, good, good. 2-2. Two, two. Are we going to see the follow-ups? A sidestep 2, you know? Yeah, great patience from John. Oh, he's on the ropes! He's on the ropes! We're going to close yeah, it out. Oh. Okay, race drive is blocked. And and Dawn Jaeger. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, not Dawn Jaeger. No. Young John. Young John. Convincing 2-0. Nicely done. Not a not a, not a fault in his play. I mean, he started off super, he started off super quick and just kind of took care of business uh very casually i mean the to, be fair, trick... to be fair to lewis the noctis was good the noctis uh, had some really interesting setups i, I, I you know I, I particularly liked um liked his um like his like his usage of the sidestep too but yeah, but john just smothered him yeah it, even the hop really... even the hop knee is just like a just as the hop knee is just a get off me as well which was required uh, against john's pressure and just john was just straight back on it straight back yeah. on it uh, very yeah, impressive. Yeah. He he made a statement there. Let's say he uh, he definitely made a statement. Yeah, absolutely. He he wants and to the, he wants to do well for himself. Unless and, we forget um, this pool. This pool does not get any easier. Dawn Yeager, uh, sorry, John may have just beaten Divine Tricks, but don't forget he's also in a pool with Bolt, so he's going to have the Noctis after dealing with uh, after dealing with Lewis's Noctis. But then after that, Sherdell, Eddie, you know this the the work is far from done. Yeah, very very hefty uh, very hefty group. So it looks like uh, next we're going to get, yeah, next we're going to get Eddie versus Bolt. So these are the two oh. guys in this group that are, for me personally, I'm not sure if if, uh, if the guys can, uh, if the guys agree in the chat. Uh, this is probably my top two to, uh, to get out of this pool. Uh, funnily yeah. enough, this was my top two as well. So I, th I, th I think if, if everything goes according to plan and nobody messes up, this is going to decide who goes out, who goes through and winners and losers. I mean, obviously yeah. I'm, I'm counting my chickens very very early here there is still everything to play for but this this is i think this is going to set the tone for the group this match yeah yeah oh yeah, yeah definitely absolutely uh there's going to be a lot of eyes on eddie eddie has been playing 
very, very clean since the lockdown. Every tournament he's been in, he's been doing absolute damage. The fact Ram's looking untouchable a lot of the time. Is, is terrifying. Have, yeah, you, uh, sure. have, have you had a chance to fight Eddie's fucking Ram yet? Uh, no, 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 absolutely not, no. So I had to fight him in the, uh, I had to fight him in the lockdown league. I think it was off stream, to be fair. And it was so annoying because I felt like I was keeping pace. Like, you know when you're in a match and, you, and like, you're losing, but you're just like, no, no, I'm doing all right, I'm doing all right. And literally, before I knew it, I'd already lost 2-0. I didn't even realize I'd lost six straight rounds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, I was just, be, just, uh... like, just like, well, what do you do? <laughs> exactly, yeah. Exactly. Now, before we get into this game, it wouldn't be justice if we don't talk about Bolt. Um, Bolt has been looking super, super good throughout the, um, throughout the Lockdown League 2. Uh, in the open LCQ, we did, the man was doing some... The man did a whole bunch of damage. A very dominant of, um, performance in the, in the lockdown yeah. league. Now for, now, for me, I'm, I might be putting myself on blast on here. I, I think Bolt's probably my pick right now as the best player in Scotland. Right. I personally think. Like, he's he's very, very fundamentally adept. And, like, the guy the guy can quite happily kill you just with jabs, down forward one, and sidestep two. He don't even need lows. Damn, that's, and that's Tekken to a T, right? That's, that's that crispy Tekken. The, the yeah, jabs, yeah, down for real, runs, real. all that. That's, that's that's the crispy Tekken. This guy, this guy has the crispiest movements as well. Like his side stuff. I mean, trying try to pin down both, it's like fighting an ant. <laughs> but it really is. Like it, with like with like a sledgehammer. Like yeah, you can you can get big damage if you can hit him. It's uh, but Eddie is opting away from the fucking run, going back to his trademark Bob, the uh, the character that really puts Eddie on the map. Yeah. Are we going to see bold Bob? Because Bold Bob is like oh, that, that. That is that's the trademark. That is literally the, that's the that's the Eddie trademark. For real, for real. Anything else? Anything else would be just uh, yeah. just fake. And now Bolt's got to be uh, Bolt's got to be just a little bit careful here because uh, obviously uh, uh, as strong as fucking Ram is, Bob is going to get a lot more juice off of the knockdown. So just just a stray hit here, it, everything could go real south real fast for Bolt. So Bolt's going to have to Bolt's going to have to play so tight, and we are not seeing the Bold Bob. He has Eddie. hair. Eddie is giving him a chance. Fight. <laughs> Yo, but Bolt, you need to make him regret his life decision right now. Yeah, and immediately that, that, was that um, full five, mate. Is he nerfing himself? Un like intentional nerfing of himself? <laughs> For real. Oh, great low parry. And we're going to go downstairs? Yes, we are. Immediately, yeah. Oh, really taking 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 a good lead. And, and now into this wall mix up. Such a good med. Random net for two, but it doesn't get launched by Eddie. I don't think anyone... I mean, that's assuming... I mean, I mean is, 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 Bob, is Bob able to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyone can. Uh, Bob, uh, Bob can do like a... Like a the arm upwards thing. Down back on plus two. Right, okay. Oh, but Eddie's going to get all this damage now and now into the mix. We've seen it a hundred times. Eddie, Rukang, Bob, Okazami oh, mean, there is so scary. Fight. Yeah. And somehow, oh, in spite of that really strong start that Bolt had, I, I, I genuinely thought he had the round wrapped up. Eddie somehow takes it away from him. And now I mean, he's starting to pull away. I mean, yeah, that's just Eddie to a T, right? Just capable of just getting those rounds regardless of how they go prior. And once he gets going, it's hard to make get, get him to stop. And if, but a great punish from Bolt here, and now we're going to go into the Schmix. Are we going to see the full crash? Yes, we are. And again, yes, are. do it again. again. Oh, Jabs him out of the rage strike. Yeah, that very scary job, but gets him the W. Yeah, Bolt very scary, did, but he... Uh... Bolt did not let him play. Fit can hit that one there. And there was a whiff punish. My nice man, man's whiff punishment has been sick today. Uh-huh. There he is, full crash again. And he attacks Try it again. again. But... I was going to say I might have managed, but that wall, that wall spot made up for it. Absolutely made up for it. Yeah. And a big whip. But... Power crush! Yo! Whoa, Ooh, what crack. did... That was, uh... Yeah, Homan? Is that Homan? My man, Bob just hit him from Uganda. <laughs> just editings. He's just doing editings. It just works out. I... 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 Nice. Good answer for the fall over down forward one. Just, just aura of this man instantly. Can't hit down forward two as well. Okay, Eddie's starting to pull away now. You've got to deal with this Oki Bolt. How are you going to fight out? Ooh. Yeah, survive. Survives the onslaught. Great forward two to get back in. Spear gets Spear Whisk, but uh, oh, Bolt's yeah. now running that mix. Again, this, this really Fresh could go out. either way. Good break. Mm -hmm. It's a crucial round for Bolt that he needs this. It really is. Oh, he catches him! It's going to get into the net. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it! Nicely, nicely done. Final, final round he, situation. He, he blew his 2 2 load there, and that was, that was enough for. Uh, that was enough for uh, Freddy to take the bait, get counter hit, and everything Bolt needed to clear out that uh, the last of his health. But yeah, but as, as I mentioned, that's that's another instance of a, a down forward two from Noctis not getting launched. I'm not sure if Bob can. I'm not sure if Bob can. I'm, I'm dead certain he can. Like, but, like Bob's launcher is like 17 frames or something. Yeah, but 
Yeah, it looks like this is going to be into the, into the race, right? Into the hit, and that's that's one nil to Eddie. Yeah, that's all she wrote, and that's Eddie going up. 1-0 against Bolt. I mean, it's a very close one. Could go either another instance of it, it going either way, potentially. But yeah, but it's just Eddie that's going to clutch it out. For real, for real. You've got me paranoid about this now. I'm actually going on Tech and Chicken to double-check the frames. Bear with me. <laughs> I may be, I may be wrong. I might, I might be. Wrong. I know. Uh, I know. Bob sometimes does have some like launching issues. Yeah, he's a bit like Steve in that regard. But, but like, if it's if it's a take the Mickey negative like mid, you can still get a launch. Yeah, not right. is down forward two is minus twenty. Bob can absolutely launch that. Right. Yeah, so it's in I mean, there's, there's definitely a few instances where he opted not to. But I guess maybe I know for the second instance it did make sense because he just opted for the wall splat into mm. the uh, into the ender. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe in a more open field situation, you might have to gone for a launch. Hmm. Now, have you ever seen have you ever seen Bolt play any other character than Noctis? Only uh, actually, actually, yes, I've seen him play against Risky Look with like Jack and playing around with other characters. But when it comes down to crunch time and serious business, it's Noctis every single time. Right. And Bolt opting to take the walls away from Eddie. Interesting. Okay. Okay. I don't know. I feel like the wall game was actually doing more bits for Bolt than it was for Eddie personally. But uh, you know, if Bolt likes to slow the pace down, play an infinite, and I suppose he can just focus on his ridiculous whip punishment here. So, so that does do him, do him some favors. Fight. Yeah, more space for whip punishment. And uh, more space for down, down four two with punishment specifically. Because my man, my man, desperate with down four twos especially. He's, you see uh, what I mean by being hard to like hit Bolt? <laughs> it's just <laughs> yeah. But the, the flea, the flea, the flea of Scotland. That's what this is. Yeah. <laughs> Everything. Every the, the lateral oh, movement go. is uh, the lateral movement is exquisite on on both sides. I mean, if you think this round has been pure footsies, it hasn't been big damage and set plays. It's just been footsies. It took Eddie twenty seconds to land a hit on Bolt. Yeah, but right now he's getting landed consecutive hits, and none, nonetheless, it's going to be Bolt's take in this round. First round to Bolt. But this is uh, yeah, yeah but Bolt's Bolt. really, Bolt's really forcing that type of Tekken that he loves to play. You know, the the, the yeah. thousand downboard ones. Yeah, definitely. Ring zero. And, oh, on the side hit though, that back, back, uh, that back two two from uh, from Bob doing bits. You know. Yeah. All right. Eddie slowed the pace down. He doesn't know what to do. Mm -hmm. Look at this. This is the slowest I've seen Eddie play. Whip, whipping jabs at this range. My man's on tilt. My man's on tilt. Bolt's got him. Come on, Bolt, this is chance of tied up. You've got him on blast. Conversion? And yeah, gets the conversion. I mean, oh yeah, I mean, all, all that talk about Bolt having him uh, having him in terms of the uh, how the game's being played, but Eddie's but really doing, be doing he just really, fine. He really did. Bolt, was, Bolt had him locked, up, lock, locked into, his, into, his, into the game that he wanted to play. And Eddie looked like he was done for that round, completely completely cleaned out, and, and just yeah. finds that counter hit, and then nothing take it. Yeah, and this is just I mean, another instance. Oh, there's the down for it. Oh my god. Lives. Rare footage, very rare footage. F in the chat for Bolt there, that's so unfortunate. No tech, gonna get the follow up. Get that damage. It's not, it's not the most damage, but the Oki is kind of nasty. Uh -huh. Now, one thing you probably noticed about Eddie is that Eddie is very light on Bob's health speed. Whereas you see a player like Ryu Kang who, who defines himself on his power crush and his health speed, Eddie plays a much yeah. safer game. So, so he's giving Bob less opportunities for burst damage to reverse it. Ooh, and his whips again. My goodness. Heck Oh, great block! Oh, and this is high, yeah. Round four. And, it, and I'm telling you, this high octane brain zero tech and Eddie is doing j just fine. He's, he's going toe to toe with Bolt. He was so. Uh... And he catches him with oh, with that stab, though. that counter hit stab. It's so good. And the other kick for this is ridiculous. If Eddie stands up, he gets launched. But Bolt didn't believe. Okay, just chipping away. But yeah, chipping away, huge, huge lead, and there it is. We're, and we're down to a final round, almost against the pace of the match, you could say. The way that the flow of the match has been going, you would think the Bolt would have would have um, already tied this up. But we're going into a final, final round for uh, for game two. Now, Oki, the Oki is good. Yeah. He's staying oh, down. Right. <laughs> he's doing everything he can. To, he's doing everything he can to stay on the ground. But he took a lot of damage doing that. It really is. The punishment good finish from Eddie there. Yeah, now we're just going to see the poke. And this is where Eddie Style almost hurts him. Oh, what a block! And that's going to be it. 1 1. Thought it. Oh, he's off the goal! Oh, he, he spoke oh, too he's soon. Oh, he's just Didn't finish it. He didn't believe. He's got to go up here, surely. K.O. Oh, and Bolt takes it. Okay, cool. There we go. I tell you what, Bolt would not have been happy with you if, if that would have went back. Bolt, you were <laughs> the on the. My man, you were on the thinnest of thin ice there. <laughs> 
Oh, now, does Eddie, stick, does Eddie stick to his guns, or do we now see the fuck on ramp? Uh, it might be... It might be a similar instance where do you know how bonus Jin had the uh, the Safina and if the Safina got uh, got beat went to Nina it might it might be a similar instance. Mm. So in this case, Bob might be like the underling, and you have to be you have to defeat my underlings to get to, mit, to fight the main boss. You know. Do you know so what? Do you know what? Might this, be the back and run. See, the thing is, in this group, Eddie's Bob is very much like the final boss of this group, but fucking Ram is like the secret boss. Like fucking Ram is the Shinakuma of this group. Yeah. <laughs> So let's see if uh, if Eddie has uh, has deemed him worthy. <laughs> but I mean, for, yeah, me, I, I, I... For, for me, I, I honestly I feel like Bolt's actually out. I don't want to say outplayed, but Bolt outplayed him all the way through. I mean, the pace of the match it's it's been very very close, but genuinely, Bolt's neutral game has, has been on point, and we're seeing Brimstone and Fire. And no change taken with the Bob. Uh, very surprising, but it could be very Bolt, confident in the Bob. He could have buffed himself and brought our ball up, to be fair. Yeah, he he yeah, uh, yeah, he has given himself the intentional uh nerf with the uh with the full head of hair, so we'll see if he's gonna opt for the change. For real, for real. I'm seeing I'm seeing uh I'm seeing in the chat a lot of Leo's hawk and uh I, I, it would have been hilarious if uh Eddie went for the uh, the Leo. The man's been, the man's been doing a lot of stuff on Twitter. Uh, oh, there's the yeah, fault, there's the boldness, there it is. The game is over. Bo, you, you've got your work cut out now. By the way, shout out to this stage mod. This looks sick. And a great launch on the twin distance. Very crispy mod. Fun. Nice crispy combo coming from Bo's co yeah, coming out. Getting the job done, you know. Into the mix. Oh, Eddie did not get a look in. Bolt is taking it, man. Yeah, a near perfect. Eddie, this Says, is your chance help. to answer that, my dude. Yeah, full head of hair, bold. Who cares? He's getting that W regardless, Bolt says. Oh, this is very dumb. Cook up, very cook dumb. Up from Eddie looping the slash kicks. His bolts block from the lows have been really, really good. So you would think the delayed mids is way is how you begin to answer that. Yeah. And oh, this. It's just chipping away. He's just chipping away. And a great Fair. double forward too. Now, now he is sideways on. It's just going to mess up the combo. Not even. To no. Didn't believe. But it doesn't and matter. Bolt, bolt is on set point. Set point again. Unprecedented. Eddie may be about to take another round. Eddie is not going to like that, and we immediately see the knockdown. The Bob boy is now furious. Yeah, he's, yeah, Shin Bob. But still, only only minor punishments on the damn forward too. He's giving Bob too much license. Yeah, despite the minor punishment, he's uh, his life lead is looking somewhat fierce. Might his get life lead is looking very fierce, but another wall. This is where Bob can take it all back. Yeah, no golden letters. Oh, still, with pun, good with punish. Nice. No combo. And, oh, I just. And the war rating four takes it. Eddie Jeez. pulling out a bit of Eddie magic there. Alright. Is he gonna clutch it out? You wonder. Yeah, he's gonna get a launch from that range as well. Really nice use of that uh, that jump kick. Mm -hmm. Combo still going. And now he's gonna mix again. Bob does get a decent finish. Nine. And this is all coming in rows and threading. Any time he's stuck in gear. Alright. Not... Bolt trying to slow the pace down. Good break on the throw. There's a rage drive. No my, splat though. My dude. No my dude. damage. Oh, oh, Eddie, he's getting he's getting and Eddie goes yeah. down to Bolt. The bold, the bold Bob goes down. Scotland in the chat, stand up. You man, stand up. Jesus. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, that's kind of crazy, you know. Bro. That's and like that, they weren't even, they weren't even robberies. I mean, my man went toe to toe with his Bob. Consistently, yeah. just just out poked him. The whiff punishment, held the block punishment. Well played, Bob. Well played. I just, I I don't have a hat to take off for you, but. Yeah, I only got a headset, but nonetheless, uh, for real, for real, immaculate, immaculate stuff, and it's gonna be, uh, it's, it's gonna be Eddie going uh, Owen one at the group for now, which is uh, not a place you want to be, obviously. I'm, I'm just gonna throw this out there right now. If you, if you competed in the last chance uh, open, uh, the last chance qualifier, the open one, I think you'd be feeling a lot better about losing to Bolt now after seeing that. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Oh, and before, before I forget, uh, legendary Mihawk with the 121 viewers uh Yo. during the game that's uh that's a hefty host so big big thank you legendary mihawk we oh, hope you stream went very well Mihawk. yeah i'm not sure if he's still in there or not but huge huge thank you we uh we hope your stream went well and uh yeah thank you for blessing us with the host and the guys that just came in you came at a good time we got some nice looking tekken right about Definitely. now we're about to get into our next game uh before that 
again, guys, we're going to be shilling this throughout, but there's huge rewards if we get this get this target. Currently, we're at £620.84. Oh, we're close. Believe. We are close. And, you know, if we get to that 750 we get that $750, where we're going to be getting a top a top 8 first to 3 format. That's, a, that's what we all want, right? That's what we all want. Definitely. That's going to be some good games, all at the expense of pun life, but that's okay. He doesn't mind, I'm sure. <laughs> He's all for it. If anything, that should be motivation to donate more. <laughs> 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 yes, but put pun life in some more stress. Yeah, get that, get that goal. We'll no. do just that. No, 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 no. Returning to the game, have you seen what we've got lined up next? Yes, I do indeed. So we have uh, both guys who are sitting pretty with one win in the group. And uh, the winner of this is going to be looking very, 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 very pretty. Oh, very near, near guarantee, near guarantee, near guarantee of a, uh, a qualification. Pretty much, yeah, yeah. I think three wins, three wins definitely gets you through. Yeah. Whether then, then it comes down to whether it's winner side or loser side. Both of these guys now fighting for their second win. Bolt just fresh off of his. I don't even want to call it a blow up. A bolt fresh over his win against Eddie versus Young John, and Young John has brought out the Steve. Now is his Steve going in cold though? Yeah, that's that's what you gotta wonder. Well, we're about to find out. I'm um, knowing he drops the down forward two combo. That that could be that could be an issue. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe we'll get it a second time. You know, take online into a factor. It's not. It's definitely not the. It's one of the hardest pickups around. So. Bolt did. Bolt did say in the draft as well that he was very comfortable against Steve. Like he, one of the reasons he chose this group was because he was comfortable with the Steve matchup. Yes, but, he did. Yeah, he did say but, that. But the thing about John Steve is John Steve is very very basic, but his timing is exceptional. Yeah, absolutely. And, will, and you, you will get counter hit. Yeah, for real, for real. You can't, you can't, you can't train for timing. You just, you just have to yeah. learn it. Yeah, if you have it, you don't. And John, especially young John, will definitely have that. Twenty seconds left on the clock. Good tech. We're actually the same nice. amount of life. Good breaks on both sides as well. Yeah, oh, we nearly got the sidestep as well. Uh huh. Right. Good block Are on we the going to see a from Steve, surely, surely. Oh, we, oh, it's Steve, of course. Minus Commits 14. to the string. No, that's minus 14 on block. That's a guaranteed rage line. And he just runs up and just do it with the Hell Mary. You know what? I respect it. He needed the damage. I respect it. One, se one second left. You may as well do a DP. <laughs> I mean, yeah, big big kudos to young John who uh, clutched it out with that round without the rage drive, too. He nearly choked it as well because that rage drive is a launch punish against uh, Noctis 22222. Mm. Maybe a little bit what of a round mm, What a round definitely. in retaliation. Bolt with a low parry too. Woo, what a response. Bolt just savaged him. Anger.exe has stopped working. Yeah, one answer. A response from Bolt. Jesus. Looking very competitive early on. But you and me both though, John uh, John bounces back when he takes when he takes uh, losses like that. We're gonna see him come out against swinging and that he has. Knocking on that door, but but not his answering back with his, too much, yeah. with his own Steve back one. Yeah. He's the okay. What's your option here, Dawn? Okay, he stands up. Risky. Yeah, very risky, but uh, that's been two instances now, so we'll see if uh, Bolt mm, exposes Bolt's that been, for a time. Bolt's been playing very respectfully on the Okazemi there. He can go uh, higher risk and go for a big launch, but it's not going to matter. The skyscraper from Young John. Nice combo. Oh, wow! Oh, what an interaction. <laughs> what an interaction in the jump, too. <laughs> Crazy. Jeez. The just frame, too. Flexing the just frame. There's that race drive. And now into the plus frames. Throw goes up. Tech. Unbroken. Nice. I tried to what, 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 get up, what a get up option. I need to cancel, but he clutches yeah, it out. He commits to the low. Wow, that's close. very, very close. Young John well, young, is. Young John is looking to blow this fruit wide open. Yeah, but Bolt. But Bolt's been. Every time John's got around, Bolt has just replied with a uh, huge, sending a huge message. So that might be. This might be another instance. Working on a perfect. Warp strike hits. Oh, Hustle to low. Ooh, no, just robbed the a, golden letters, you, but it's all good. You know, no, no, no. Do you know what? That's a hood perfect. You killed him like on the screen <laughs> here. That is a hood perfect. Literally, and this is a final, final round situation. That's a, just another instance of Bolt replying with a round of his own. Convincing round, no less. Yeah, definitely. Oh, he goes for it this time. But the one time that he does his opponent's face. <laughs> yeah, that's, good awareness. that's good awareness from John. But right now, that's not going to help him out because that's, this is a huge life. Even does favor. Warp Strike connects, and there we go. There we go. It was, very, very close. it was looking very, very close, and then Bolt just pulled very, away in that final close. game. Yeah. Yeah, John was looking uh, John was looking very, very, very good, especially early John, on, but... All the way through to final round, and then he turned into a speedrun. 
Yeah, exactly. Bolt just um, Bolt just responded every time John won around. He's just like, I'm taking the next one, but I'm taking yeah. it convincingly. Do you know this really is yeah. the wonderful thing about like when you see like players of such a high level play each other because they they feed off of each other. Playing their opponent elevates them as they play through the game, and and you can really see it on both sides. I mean, Bolt's poking in just just became utterly ridiculous, and and Dawn's still finding those counter hits. They're they're pushing each other so hard, and that was only yeah. game one. Yeah. I would argue that they're, for me personally, from what I'm seeing, the, the play is very similar. Like how they play, they're both very, very mechanical, very fundamental, very rain, rain zero jabs, down for ones, all that stuff, counter hits where they can. Yeah, very similar, uh, very similar in plays. Yes, definitely. So we'll see what, what change is going to be made. Are we going to see a character change? I think time? we're definitely going to see walls. And indeed we do. And we see the, and we see the walliest of wall stage, Howard Estate. Hello, walls. Now, I don't know. Do we have Touch of Death combos from these characters on here? I'm, I'm sure I've seen one on Twitter that involved like five Noctis drop kicks or something. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I might have seen that same one, actually. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah it wouldn't surprise, would surprise me. Would not surprise me. Yeah, for real, for real. Round one. Right, so we'll, we'll see who this favors then. John, yeah, John's hit. Oh, counter hit start of the wow. round. Wow. Ooh. That ain't, in the script. Shut up. that ain't in the script, my guy. Steve counter hits you at the start of a round. It yeah, I know, right? Is this is this justice for all the times we've been clipped by uh by Steve? Is this justice? My man Bolt is just on a tear, and we're gonna see a wall break here. Oh, the damage! That's it. That's, that's done. So yeah, yeah, that's dead. Ooh, convincing. Very, very convincing. It looks like Bolt's up. Uh, Bolt's all for the character. Uh, all for the uh the stage change. And, Give me those. And, and on top of that, it gets it gets even deeper though because how would I say it gets real open real fast on the on the long thing. Bolt prefers infinite stages. If he can rotate it exactly like he's done now, side step left, make it a long stage. He may as well be playing on an infinite, and that favors him. Yeah, he loves that. He loves the infinite. Yeah. Many times he's picked the infinite azure. Uh, yeah, definitely. Already. But this is where Steve could do his work. He's got Noctis back to the wall, but no, not Bolt just throws him straight out of it. Yeah. And now we're backing the even. up again. And the demo man. Demo man. All the pressure now rolls Rage. under the jet. Wall bounce, get that wall bounce. Woo! But it was a funky, funky uh, angle, but he got it anyway. And this is very convincing from Bolt. Bolt's Bolt one round the way. Bolt has come to play. Bolt's just looking, trying, trying to take this whole thing. Man's been playing, the man played super, super well in the open LTQ as well. He really did. Dawn, Dawn, complete, Dawn completely Dawn. undefeated. I don't think anyone took a single game off him. Yeah, I think it was 2-0, 2-0, 3-0. Throughout this whole look down me, the only person who's took a game off him is Eddie, who still lost. Madness. Yeah, crazy. This is the craziness of Lockdown League 2. Now, John, keeping himself really? alive. He's going to have to send a message with this round. But the rage drive. Oh, no. Just like that, one rage drive and just equaled the life. Nothing in it. 2-2. Two, two. No, no counter hit. Good patience from John. Oh, no. We've got the house. We've got the house. And Bob takes it. Never yeah. And, and young John has just been demoted to Dawn Jaeger. <laughs> <laughs> no sub, as you know, big, go, very good GGs from both X and stuff. But both. That's a great, great match. So that... well played to both players. And I think, I think, I think, based on that, I think, I think Bell might just be in the top eight. You know, not quite yet, but I think he's. Uh, I think we're definitely going to see him on one side of the bracket. Yeah, two two O is a very very comfortable place to be. For real. Very very For comfortable real. place to be. Um, very yeah, good games from both. It's uh, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be John that's gonna have to uh, duke out to the end to uh, get himself most likely a spot uh, in loser's side. But, but let's not, but let's not forget. I mean, uh, young John did also uh, take out. Uh, sorry, Dawn Yeager now has been demoted. Um, Dawn Yeager did also manage <laughs> to take like out this. Divine Trick, so he's so he's sitting there in one one and one. Now he's still got two more games to play. He can. St oh wait, no, no. I'm reading off stream that I'm reading off stream that Dawn Yeager lost zero two to uh, to ELS very own Shirdell. Shirdell. We even we even talked. Well, I mean, where we even talked about Shirdell yet? This Shirdell's just like on the slide, just off stream, just busting ass. We ain't even you know what? About you know it. what? It's about to become the Shirdell show. We'll we'll just enjoy it until it happens. That's what we'll do. Yeah. But so Don Yeager now only has one opponent left, and that's Eddie. Uh, oh. Oof. Now, oof. If, what an opponent to have. Big oof indeed. Now, if he do, if Don Yeager was to win that match, he'd end this bracket two and two. Based on how other people play, that could potentially be enough. Possibly. Yep. But he needs results to fall into his favour, and he has got the big man on campus to fight as well. I mean... Well, it's and, all, yeah, and, it's a tall order, and it, 
It's a coming huge, off. huge order. And the fact and, and that... You've got, uh, and you've got to think, Eddie, coming off a loss to Bolt as well. I mean, he is not going to be happy. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah exactly what I was going to say. He's uh, he's not going to be happy. He might may he, he might discard the Bob and just go full Fakum Ramp. Uh, but I, I don't know. I can imagine Eddie being pretty stubborn and probably just sticking with the Bob. Honestly. To be fair, do you not think that's a characteristic of Tekken players? I was talking about it on Twitter a couple of days ago. Do you not think Tekken players were so much more stubborn than any other FGC? Um, like players? I would say that we. I would say that the Tekken community they definitely complain the most. They definitely complain the most. You guys whine like hell. Now, do you know what? Um, do you know what? No, 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 no. I, I dispute that. Mortal Kombat moan the most. Uh, yeah, 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 that's true. Yeah, that's true. I think you, you guys are tied with Mortal Kombat with the, the mostly. Hell the, no, the Mortal, Kombat, Mortal Kombat players ask for patches to the game three days after a patch comes out. Hell no. <laughs> yeah, you're right, you're right. You right. Shout out to Mortal Kombat. <laughs> yeah. Big, up, big, ups to, uh, big ups to them games. But uh, yeah, I would, I just, I just would not want to be facing Eddie right now. Off, off a, off a L as well. I just, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to. For real, for real. But we're gonna see, we're gonna see a very honest matchup now, where there will be no robberies of any kind whatsoever. We're going to see Elisa versus Xiaoyu. Shirdel, hot off of his win against, uh, against Young John, going up against Lee Xiaoyu of Europe, representing Scotland. Divine Tricks. Divine Tricks and Divine Tricks. Uh... Got pretty unfortunate with his first game. It was he was a bit of a wash on his size. He's, he's definitely he's definitely hungry. He's very, I can imagine he's very very hungry in this situation. Oh wow, he just tried to do a snake edge mix up immediately. The scumbaggery, the degeneracy. What even is? <laughs> oh wow, okay. I kind of look like a reset. Oh no, him to stop. I was going to say that was about to be unblockable. No respect from Shirdell, following up on the strings as well. There's going to be a whole lot of jankness in this matchup. You can just tell, right? My, yeah, my dude. Like, huh? Yeah. Oh, he shoots him. Yo, he shot him. He shot him in the legs. Is that, that's what Elisa needs. That's what Elisa needs, right? A gun. Shirdell's pretty. One round up. Do you know what? It wouldn't surprise me if Shirdell tried to do the rocket punch unblockable at full screen. <laughs> wow. Yeah. What an answer. Did you see that? He went straight through it with, um, with our Phoenix and immediately back to the corner. I mean, that's very impressive. I mean, this is like, best, best Ling in Europe, right? This Ling is... His 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 space control is exquisite. It really is. Oh, oh the shenanigans this, at the wall. This. You see a wall spot and Xiaoyu starts going sideways and it's like, oh, I don't know, man. Yeah. Ooh, yeah we'll take that trade. Should yeah. it will take that trade all day going into game point. Yeah. But, I mean, let's see Wes Shirtle. I mean, is it right in saying, can we, can we talk about Shirtle being arguably the best uh, list in Europe right now? I mean, I mean, yeah, it's his competition. He's definitely the best in the UK. Yeah, yeah, no. Oh, yeah, hands down, hands down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, we're certainly nice seeing it. Comfortable. Well, we're going to see the Schmakes now. What you got, Shirts? Oh, nice. with the mid. Wrong and the low. Ooh. And a no round round. East London's finest. Shriddle. Yes, ELF's very own Shirtle doing bits right now. Yeah, doing a whole lot of damage. And yeah, sure, sure. We, we haven't even we haven't really spoken about Shirtle. Shirtle's been doing damage both on stream and right now he's doing some a lot of damage on stream too. So mm. we should probably put some respect on his name right now. So, so good stuff to Shirtle. So should Oh wow. Yeah. Wow. No, 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 <laughs> yeah. no, 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 no. no. Do, you, do you know what happened off stream? Uh, should L two O bolt. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, we're talking about we're we're talking about like everyone else. We're not even talking about Shirtle right now doing damage. Shirdell has two of so this group has been blown wide open. Eddie has lost, Bolt has lost, Shirdell has Shirdell's undefeated so far. Shirdell uh -huh. could be looking to top this group. And you know what? We've slept we've slept on him. We've actually slept yes, on him. Yes, we have. Well yeah, I literally like, I've, been, I've been saying it. <laughs> <laughs> literally, Shirdell's just like there minding his own business, just busting ass. We're not even saying it, we're not even talking about him at all. Shirdell's just low-key oh. just eating everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like, yeah, keep talking about him. Yeah, <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, I don't want to see a whitewash. I don't want to see a whitewash. Come on, Lewis, show us, show us some trickery. Yeah, although, I mean, although, although, although I think that's probably, I'm guessing that. Go ahead, sorry. Yeah, if if Define Trick does get this, the, the group is like the group is all like the group is all over the place. Yeah, it really is. So this is this would be huge if uh, Define Trick can uh, make those adjustments. Oh, big whiff on the uh, on the AOP um, hop kick there, though. And Shirt coming in with the boot. Lewis not having any of it. 
Do we have a reset for me? Show me show me some trickery. Yeah, good patience from Shirtle on the gap. Good punishment Ooh, on the gap attacks too. Oh, wow. yep. oh, catches him with that float, that's nice. You know we're going sideways. <laughs> oh. Tried it, tried it. <laughs> it really did. Uh. Oh wow, that goes under oh. that, are you serious? Yeah. It's the evasion. The Evasion station right now. Yeah, this, this whole game is a madness. And in with that level. Uh -huh. Oops! Get off me! With the stiff right hook! Mind you, if it sure would have went below, I think that would have worked out for the Divine Trick right Oh no, the chainsaw. But Divine, Divine Trick's answering back really nicely. Not quite the wall, but close. Very, very close. Oh! Missed the third string, the madman! Yeah. Missed, missed it. Didn't see it coming. It's, yeah, if you, you can do it the second hit, but if you don't, it's kind of a nasty mix-up. Oh, big break from Lewis. Oh, no. Shit, I was looking to close this out now. Oh, wow, it's Key Charge. Oh, no. Key Charge? Oh, what boy. What a jerk. What a jerk. Oh, boy. What a god. <laughs> Boo this man. Boo this man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right now. That, that is a fun life strat. You should be ashamed of yourself, Shirdo. Sure <laughs> You can boo him. You can boo. Oh my god! He just did that. The degeneracy. Oh, but he dropped the combo though. Oh, oh wow! Are we gonna see it, Lewis? Mind trick. No. No. Just totally disregard. Totally disregarded any potential comeback from Divine Trick. We can not be funny. We can boo this man. We can not talk about this man. But this man's just busting ass anyway, so he don't care. Rocking the key charge, feeling himself, feeling Gucci. This man is 3-0, and oh, dominating the group. So mean. So mean. Completely unnecessary. Domin dominating the group. Ah, you love to see it. Should have come out done his thing. He made it stylish. Fair play, fair play. And unfortunately, I believe that is Divine Tricks. How many games have we played? Okay, so Divine Tricks is currently 0-2. Uh, oh, no, wait, he's not. The Shadow match didn't come out. Shadow is... Divine Tricks is now 0 in 3, so Shirdell can no longer qualify. Regressively. Divine Tricks. Divine Tricks. Yeah, so yeah, so that that means Shirdell, the man in the shadows, is sitting is, pretty qualified. He, he's through to top eight, yeah. Yeah, he is yeah. definitely through. Excellent, excellent stuff. And yeah, what play? I mean, it's just the fact that a lot of his games were off uh, were off stream, but the fact that he's been busting ass both off stream and on stream. Uh, team commentary, no less. So big ups. <laughs> for real, for real. Oh, great! So, yeah, what, yeah, what play? Yeah, what play? Excellent. And he has still got to fight again. And he's only got one opponent left, and it's Eddie. <laughs> mm. And I believe that is what we'll be seeing next. So sh can Shirdell make it a clean sweep? Because let's let let's just let's just point out as well that if Shirdell does make this a clean sweep, Eddie can at best finish two in two. Mm. I did I, I mean, just the the very notion of Eddie like losing two rounds, two games, sorry, in pools is just like nuts to me. But but shirts yeah, could very well um, do it here. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty wild, but it's a testament to these brackets, man. It's uh Yeah, it's uh it's kinda mad. It's kinda mad. But we are gonna get uh it is gonna be Eddie and Shirtle. Uh this is I mean the way the the way that he's playing right now, it he could just get that clean sweep in this group, you know. He could, he could. I mean, you can never count him out against anybody. You know, and the way he's playing right now, you could argue that he, you know, he he might be, dare I say, expected to take this. Maybe. I mean, we can go by the history of these guys and their um their win rates against each other. It is uh it is Eddie that's uh slightly edged it out. Do you know what? Do you know what? This is firming a bias coming coming through, but like. There are there are like maybe two players in this whole tournament that I wouldn't consider Eddie a heavy favourite against, and well, I wouldn't say Sherdell's one of them, but Sherdell can definitely go toe to toe with Eddie. So yeah, definitely, 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 definitely. And uh, the fact that these guys are going toe to toe for our entertainment, this is the reason why we got to get these uh, this matcherino going. Let's keep it, let's keep it going. Let's keep up the momentum. We've we've how are we smashed. Those, uh, how are we looking on those stretch goals, Shaq? Because I remember we were at six thirty, well, I believe, weren't we? Well, we, we're smashing the stretch goals. We're over. We're over halfway there. We've we've got half of them done, and the next the next one is uh, the next one's looking so good, man. I really want to see this. Mind you, first, it should be stated that top this top eight is happening tomorrow. So we gotta get this stretch goal going, people. Seven fifty, seven hundred fifty dollars. Top eight is a first three format. 
Pun Life's going to hate it. We're going to love it. Get it going. <laughs> yeah, Pun Life's lost his social life over the last six weeks, hasn't he? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> my man's my man's my, my man's looking grayer than ever. Oh. He's like he's 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 tired. He's tired. He's let's let's keep him working, people. Let's can, keep can him working. Say, can, can we just say Eddie has had enough of of your shenanigans, Sherdell? He has had enough. The fucking ram has come out. No Bob Bob. No oh, normal Bob. No Leo. Yeah. You're getting the big scary tie man. What are you going to do Yikes. about it? Yikes. That's um. This is evil Eddie. Evil. Eddie, Eddie has just activated the Satsui no Hado. Murderous intent. Murderous Satsui, intent. Satsui no Eddie. For real. Oh, but sure, that answering back in the early game. Yeah, mind you, if there's any man that can suppress the Dark Hado, he's going to be sure of <laughs> But just, just awesome sure, With the power of love and friendship and. Yeah, exactly. And, and all that anime nonsense. And, oh and my look at that! And chainsaws! Oh, Don't forget the chainsaws, of course! Well, I mean, to be fair, Pokemon's runs a big man. More things to store off, I guess. The Dark Hado is, is a bad matchup against chainsaws. Who knew? You're right, you're right. And he's going in again. He's just, oh, wow. So he's all once again. Yo, these are, this is cheap, man. <laughs> Yeah, he's he's all over the place. All That's over crazy. the place with the damage. Wow, I mean, side step do... on the down forward one. That Mind you, Eddie's doing a great job nullifying it. Eddie's doing a great job nullifying all this uh, shenanigans. He is, he is, but he's just gone for a run. Not two fists to the face for his dribbles. Can he answer back? Uh -huh. He's got the damage potential. He's got rage. Goes for the hellspin. What a block. What a block. Played Sherdell. Sherdell looking kind of Gucci right now. This man's playing clean. Is Sherdell going to be the win streak assassin? Eddie's on the tempeat right now. Can Sherd take it off of him? Sherdell has wall pressure with the chainsaws has been absolutely ridiculous. That is no longer an issue. Is that going to favour Eddie? Do you think? You got to wonder. I mean, I mean that's a that's a huge uh, that's a huge factor for Alyssa, right? So you got you got to say so. Yeah, for real, for real. Oh wow! Catches him out of the air. Just, Not enough skill though. Big, just give her the big boot, you know. Mm -hmm. Crucial get up yeah, blockable. I respect it. No punishment too, so we got away with it. But yeah, it's going to be Eddie. Shit, Who do you think you're playing? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely mad. Yo, what is this combo? This is... I haven't seen that as a BNB before. That's kind of nice, you know. Nice. Eddie just taking him out of all of his airborne shenanigans now. Mm -hmm. Plus frame, using the plus frames. Man, this is a uh, what a turnaround. We needed that counter hit. This is one way to mount that comeback. Get that damage. Oh, Rage Drive is now in range. Yeah. Rage Drive can kill. But he gets blocked and we're going his chainsaws. But Eddie think. He's doing strings. Finished it with the strings. And yeah, Eddie's this looking kind of comfortable. doing strings, you know. And it might. Oh, it's in the head. Hold on. Oh, drop, 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 combo drop. Uncharacteristic. Huge combo drops. That's, That's a lot still of damage. a lot of damage, though. We take those. We take those. Reset the position. Yeah. Shadow does not care about your strings. He oh, doesn't care. Oh, Orbital! Orbital! Is that King Orbital. J? Orbital, Orbital, you know. That's a rage drive. Oh, and oh, what a I choice. And he got yeah. low parry, though. What? Okay, but no rage, no rage, no rage. The combat factor is, uh, he needs is it. not he needs like that. And a get up for. Good patience, good patience from Eddie, and what, yeah, I what mean, a turnaround, and just like that, is, did the infinite stage make that much of a difference? Yeah, those first two rounds, I mean, Cheryl absolutely savaged Eddie at the wall, but as soon as those walls were taken away, and Eddie could just apply his game, I, mm -hmm. it, 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 it turned uphill for Sherdell so quickly. I mean, you've got to think Sherdell is about to take him to Mission with Dojo. He loves a bit of Mission with Dojo, that's, that's for sure. He, he, loves, he loves a bit of the Dojo, so you wonder if, uh, if that's what he's going to opt, it wouldn't surprise me. I mean, let's uh, let's not forget about the. Uh, he has got a Marduk, right? So if if he if he's not liking the look of things, I know that Shirtle got a bit of a, a bit of a Marduk in the back pocket. We might see that. I mean, honestly, I I wouldn't switch personally. He's playing super super clean, and this is the uh, this is a Lissa that's got him three wins in this group. You're right. You're right. I don't know. I'm a big fan of Shirtle's Marduk. I really enjoy watching his Marduk. Like I've learned quite a lot of really like silly 50-50s from watching how he plays him. Um, mm. So, so in my heart would like to see uh, would like to see Marduk, but yeah, I think you're absolutely right. Go straight back in there with uh, with Alyssa. Yeah, but we'll see. So his discretion. This man is playing clean, so I'm sure his his judgment is better than mine. So we'll see what he's going to opt to. Okay, so he's going to rather than a character change, we're going to see a we're going to see a stage change, right? Okay.
Okay. This balcony kind of favors uh, kind of favors Shirdell because Shirdell's war game has been really, really strong. But if he can space his down threes properly, he can put Eddie through that wall with a low. Yeah. Into a full combo, and it's big damage as well. So um, you've got to think the balconies are kind of favor. Well, balcony and the breakable wall downstairs that helps Elisa more than it helps Fat, I would say. Round one. Fight. Yeah, the utilization of the balcony in the wall is super key in this game. Game number two, though. Shirdell get. Shirdell down again. Going to have to dig deep, but he's absolutely capable. But Eddie dropping combos, you know. Yeah. I mean, Shirdell's definitely Ooh, nice. he's, uh, elated about that uh, drop from uh, from Eddie, and it's going to be really him benefiting showing... from the balcony. And really showing off Elisa's great side step there as well. Yeah. What a side nice. Step. Good bait. Good bait. And straight back onto the wall, sir. Oh, that was so good. Yeah, and Eddie, Eddie just had to watch. He was already committed on the buttons. He just had to watch that power yeah, crush. I mean, I mean, I mean, what are you going to do? You just got to take it, innit? Yeah, literally. So that's going to be Let's a into the wall, though. Oh, now we're seeing the unblockable. Mm -hmm. Into the throw unbroken. He may actually... Oh, no, never mind. I thought we were going to see a side split that. Wow. Eddie being so active here, counter-poking everything. Yeah, dominant. Super, super dominant uh, round in, in retaliation. Yeah. Oh, All side will All save right, lives, of course, for Shirtle. Okay, and now we've got now Shirtle's got him exactly where he wants him. This is a breakable wall. Uh -huh. Alyssa's frames and chains are so good. Oh, oh now we're going through. Yeah. Look at the damage before the combo even started, man. Uh huh, but drops a combo midway, though. Oh, no. He's done a lot of damage. There's a hell sweep. That's going to be at a set point for Eddie. Mm -hmm. Eddie looking to take a 2 0. And this is how it goes against Eddie's fucking run. You fight him, and you think you're doing okay, and you just somehow lose. And you don't even know how, but you die. Ooh, you try getting out of the team. Try, try blowing him up and gets blown up for it. Oh, no, you got the wall 50-50 as well. Back and runs full crash 50-50 yeah. by the wall is so dirty. Look, yeah, what a position to be. Here we go. Eddie's got to hold this mix now. I get him with the... Oh, no, he's broken. Excellent tech. No punish on the 3-4 though, Eddie's gonna start using Rage, surely. Oh, throws him out of the power crush, what an answer. Open Rage, who's gonna pop first? I know you, I was gonna call it, I swear to you I was gonna call it. I, the what man was waiting, was he was baiting, he was like, do the thing, I know you wanna do the thing. And he did it, and Eddie responded perfectly. Ab perfectly. Absolutely flawless reaction, faultless punish. That was, that was, that was a great way to end the match. Well played to Eddie. Well played to Sherdell as well, to be fair. He held his own. He gave a really impressive performance. But at the end of the day, Eddie's fucking rum is Eddie's fucking rum. Yeah. I mean... That's, uh, that was a bit... Yeah, what, yeah, what impressive uh, end, to, end to the game there. But uh, yeah, big GG's Ooh. for both. Very entertaining game. Definitely. Um, and I think that wraps up Pool B, does it not? Oh, already? Oh, it might, yeah, it might, it might just be. This is, uh, let's see if we can round up the results, group. Then. Oh, no, no, no. I think Divine Tricks and Bolt have got to play off stream. Oh, snap, the Scottish team kill as well, you know. Oh, not like this. You hate to hear it. Wait, is it off stream or is it on stream? I don't even know. It's uh, not well, we've got a few, I'm sure we've got a few games on. I'm sure we've got a few games. Uh, we've had a few games off stream too. So we'll see if we can get that group finalized for you guys real quick. In the meantime, whilst we try and finalize the scores for you, <laughs> let's get on that match arena, right? Let's get to that 750. We got to get this done by, uh, by today, guys, because tomorrow is going to be the top eight. So exclamation point match arena. In the chat, get this quest want, done. Yo, do you want to know something interesting? Please, inform me, please. So, Bolt is now playing Divine Tricks. If, if Bolt beats Divine Tricks, Eddie, Sherdell, and Bolt will all be 3-in-1 at the end of the bracket. Oh, really? So, yeah. so then what happens? What happens then? Okay, how how so does Eddie it get... Um, I think I think Eddie Eddie will finish first because he won all of his games 2-0 and he lost and he lost 2-1 in the game that he lost. Whereas Sherdell and Bolt have both lost 2-0. But right. with Sherdell and Bolt, if okay. If Bolt manages to beat Lewis 2-0, he has an identical record in wins and losses and rounds as Sherdell. Completely identical. They will have to play off, I think. So I do believe uh I think I think the TOs have, uh, have rules in place. I think, is it, is it down to a head-to-head? Like, whoever has better overall... Well, they, uh, they've, both had they've both had exactly the same results. If Bolt wins 2-0, they'll, they'll have both won. No, wait, sorry. No, Sherdell could still go out. 
No, Bolt. Sorry, Bolt. Bolt could go out. Bolt could go out because he because he didn't win all of his games two not two nil. Right. Okay. Okay. Let's let's uh, let's uh, let's let's calm down real quick. Let's get let's get it's getting a bit crazy in there. Everyone. It everyone is, uh, I know. I know you try. I know you going big brain with this thing. <laughs> I know you going big brain. Big brain only works if you have a big brain. I have a small brain. It doesn't work. Yeah. I know for a I know for a fact Eddie is definitely through. Regardless, Eddie is through. Yeah. Right. Oh, the, the death bracket. Now, are we? Are yeah. So we're yeah. What we're gonna do? We're gonna. We're, we need a breather, right? We need a breather anyway. Okay. <laughs> we really do. So I guess. So am I right in saying is is this is this the end of our is this the end of our stint? I believe. For me, for me, so yes, this is yes, this is the end of road for me and Sin on comms. This is it. Um, I'm I, well, I, I definitely still going to be here watching these games because these games are uh, these games are sick. So I'll be sure to stick around. Hopefully, you guys stick around. But for now, we're going to go to a quick break. But my name is Walker Fam. I've been. It's been a pleasure, Sin. As always, it's always fun. Always fun to commentate. Been a great tournament so far. Looking forward to the end, and I hope you guys all do too. Big shouts to ELF. Yeah, and yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna go to a quick break, uh, and we're gonna. Yeah, it shouldn't be too long, so please do stick with us. Uh, this is Lockdown League number two. This is a top 20. Stay with us. We'll be back in a moment.